Hey, Chris. Hi, Brielle. I hope I pronounced it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw where you put last one here as a Chad guy. <laughs> so it's me for the others because Jojo, Lucy, Gigi, they all know what Chad means, so I always say that now. Last one to the live is a Chad guy. That's funny. I know Jojo said something came up, so he probably wasn't going to be able to come until later. Mm. Okay. Perfect. Uh -oh. I'm here bored at work. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you at least getting some good tips and stuff, though? No. no. Oh, well. Mi yari da luku, everyone. Hi. Mi yari. How are you doing today? Good, you. I'm surviving. I'm surviving. Hello. Guys, I'm pretty bad at paying attention to the chat. So, you know, if I if you say hi and I don't say hi to you, I promise I'm not being an asshole and ignoring you. Well, I might be being an asshole, but I'm not intentionally ignoring you. Um, hey, Indio, how are you doing? Hi, Jordan. Y'all doing okay? Someone actually directed me to your page after I made a post about wanting to reconnect. Oh, awesome. I hope it's been helpful. Hmm. Ah, oh, my goodness. Encourage more viewers. Oh, TikTok is trying to help me promote this lab, I guess. Yeah, th this is this is going to be I guess a little educational, but but most mostly mostly spilling tea. I'm here for you. <laughs> the moment I joined the live, can you hear me? Do what? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I mean, I have my headphones might be acting up, but hold on. Oh, no, mine are too, because I'm just making sure. But the moment that the live started, finally someone comes in. I've been sitting here by myself this whole time. <laughs> Who is the one? Hi, everyone. Hey, everybody. We're just waiting for some more folks to come in before I go to blabbing. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot of antagonism toward natives on this app. Yeah, there's there's definitely that. And then there's what I guess um, some would call infighting, which I, I, I'm sure they would qualify this live as, as that. But um, I feel like there's a difference between going on the attack and defending your people. Slash. Hello, I have one question. What do you do when you were adopted? My twin sister and I. Oh. I don't know if you're still typing, but I'm going to answer the, the first half. Oh, you were still typing. Let me shut up. We're adopted at birth and our family cannot find our indigenous family. Oh, that is heartbreaking. I mean, I don't know if you're opposed to DNA testing. I know a lot of people are um, and they have their reasons, but um, DNA testing is one way to go. And then that can, you know, oh, okay. So, you know, um, more specifically uh, the region. So yeah, for Cuba, I'm probably not going to be as helpful because I'm from Puerto Rico and I know that each island has um, just slightly different history depending on who colonized who and all that stuff. Um, but if, I mean, you've kind of already gotten pretty far ahead as far as, um, you know, finding out where you're indigenous to and all of that good stuff. Um, I'm sure that means it's going to be really hard to, um, oh, hold on. My bad, I wasn't ignoring you, Gigi, but um, I know it can probably be hard to like, I don't, I don't know if you have like a paid plan on Ancestry. I know that helps with like um, potentially finding matches. And then with those names, you can kind of like go from there as far as looking up records. 
but um, as far as as reconnecting, you've already done the leg work, leg work rather to confirm like, yes, I do have indigenous ancestry, it's from here. And at this point, I would just recommend, um, you know, doing some due diligence as far as like learning as much as you can about the history of, of, of Cuba and um, then jumping into like more indigenous specific uh, history and stuff like that. Definitely. There's like Facebook groups and, and different, um, like if you go on Twitter, you can probably search at the hashtag Taino and do things like that to kind of like find people and learn and you know what I mean? Um, maybe get some more specific stuff to Cuba. Hi, this is, okay. I appreciate you announcing. Sorry, I'm ADHD. Hi, Nathonia. I'm missing all the comments. I'm trying to go back. Hey, Azul. Oh, geez. I am probably the worst person to host a live. I think you do pretty good. I mean, so so far, well, we'll see how this one goes. I'm a little out of my depth because like all the the like call out stuff is new ish to me, but apparently I'm pretty decent at it, so probably pretty intelligent. I think you blocked me because of the twins. Listen, I blocked a lot of people because of the twins and Rose. Thank you know, basically you. pointing at everybody me too. like I blocked Megan, I blocked Victoria. I had so many people blocked because they were telling me like, oh, this person, this, this person, that, they're anti-black, they're this, they're that. Whole time, they were basically trying to keep us away from anybody who could out them. So, I mean, I know there's plenty of people who um, are absolutely anti-black. Like if I see a hunter in here, immediately block me. If y'all see a hunter in here and you have mod privileges, Feel free to immediately block, um, mute and block because, like, I'm not playing with them. The fact that they're so willing and ready to capitalize off of our community's pain at this moment is fucking disgusting. Yeah. Right. Mind me, please. Okay, let me mod you real quick. If any one of my mutuals, oh, I pressed the. Button. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I don't think I'm mod because of my account being banned. Oh shit, hold on a second. Let me. I'm gonna figure this shit out. Hold on, hold on. let me see. Y'all can do all the things. Let me. Do I have you modded, um, Justin and Chris? I'm a mod. I don't think I'm modded. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get my shit together in a minute, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, I think. I just modded you, Justin. Ta-da! Oh shit! Um, give me just give me just a second. Um, rice and beans. Give me. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it from my computer. How do? I... <sighs> but yeah, this live. Um. I'm basically gonna like re replay some of the videos cause I don't know who all seen what, cause I don't wanna repeat myself, <laughs> that too. Oh, there's an echo. Dang, somebody already recording? <laughs> We're not even doing nothing yet. Okay, see ADHD, I'm supposed to be unblocking rice and beef. Let me focus one day at a time. But yeah, there's there's definitely quite a few people that I ended up blocking because I was straight up lied to. And at the time, I didn't have reason to believe that they were lying to me, so. Why are you not doing what I want? Okay.
Wait, this is saying I'm not, that I don't have you blocked. Wait, it's rice and beans 666, right? Did I type it wrong? Am I that special? Hold on, let me go back. I'm sorry, guys. I do not mean to ignore people's comments in here. Hold on. Also, folks that are reconnecting and have questions, please wait till the end because you know what I mean? Like, that's not what this live is, is for. Oh, Angela, a hunter is somebody who um, takes basically like, how would I describe it? A lot of the times are anti-Black, but not always. And they're people that basically try to combat pseudo intellectualism on this app by hunting pretendians. Da -da 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 -da. Is it still echoing, guys? Do you all hear it at all? No? I don't. Okay. I don't hear it. Wepa! I see you, Johnny. I apologize for any communication we had at the time. Us? Because honestly, there were so, like I said, there was a lot of people that I like preemptively blocked. Like I never even talked to them or anything. I was just like, oh, okay, they're, this person is attacking people in my community. I don't want nothing to do with them. I've never had anyone ill intent to harm anyone in our community. I appreciate that, Megan. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm caught up. Oh wait, no, it just, oh God, all the comments just scrolled. Shit, I'm sorry, rice and beans. Um, did I miss your comment where you, um, cause I wanna say you said rice and beans 666, but when I looked it up, it's showing a faceless account with 42 followers. And I don't think that's you. Like is your at still, Oh, what was it before? Sugar, it was sugar something, right? No, that's sugar souls. No, that's not me. Oh, that's well, that explains um, why I couldn't. I'm con See, there's so many people that I was told to block. I'm confusing like screen names and shit. Oh, so I guess it's rice and beans underscore, underscore 666. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Okay, I just unblocked you, so you should be able to go on that account and join the live. The echo's gone. Okay, good. That's a different woman. Yeah, see, like I said, my block list is hella long, and there's probably people on there that don't deserve to be on there. Yeah, Sugar Souls is problematic too, though. She's one of Coco's, like. She is. <laughs> oh, well. You know, there's that. <laughs> but yeah, in just a minute, I'm basically gonna replay some videos. Um, so everybody in here is on the same page. I don't know who saw what. And then. Well, then I'll start, you know, letting people up in the box. So if you send a request now and I didn't accept, it's not because I don't want you to be able to speak your piece. Um, I'm just trying to like keep my neurodivergent brain like on one track. But yeah, um, are we waiting on anybody else? I know Jojo said he wasn't gonna be able to make it. Oh, Lucy. We talking about them peoples? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <sighs> any any of my mutuals, by the way, if y'all are okay with modding, um, just let me know and I will I will mod you. 
12. Jojo, why is not letting me add you up? Did you get in trouble? I think it's because he's private, probably. I don't know. I don't know. That is weird. Oh, okay. I'm I'm gonna mod you, Victoria. Hold on. Let me. I think. I mean, basically, if y'all if y'all see any hunters or people. Jojo, do you need to use my account, my other account? You know, I stay far away from this stuff. Yeah. Jojo, I'll let you use my backup. Wait, did I miss? I'm on a, oh, I did miss. Elba, do you want them to just mute the trolls or block them? Um, Mute trolls, but if you know for a fact, I mean, if they're being a bigot, block them. And if you know for a fact that they're a hunter, by all means, block them. Um, because I, I know you weren't in here earlier. I don't think you were in here earlier. But like, when I posted my videos, a lot of them decided that it was it was the time to capitalize off our pain and be like, see, we told you so, blah, 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 blah. Which I knew was going to happen. But like, I figured they would at least wait. You know what I mean? Or at least be like, Hey, you know, I'm sorry they did that to you. You know, we did try to warn you. No, it's all like, oh, so blah, 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 being all um, douchey. And I'm kind of like, okay, so you got it right three out of a thousand times. That's not a flex. It's like they, they forgot that they attacked other people in our community, not just those three. But yeah, use a bunch of numbers um, or a hunter in here. Um, yeah. But I figured, I guess, while we're waiting on Lucy. Um, Do you know if she's coming? Because I haven't heard from her all day. You know what? You might be right that she's not coming because I know she said she wasn't feeling good. I saw one of her posts today. Um, so yeah, let's, Lucy, I'm so sorry. We're, um, yeah, let's just move forward because I don't want to, I don't want to hold y'all for forever. Wait, there's Jojo. And I don't know if I have more than Six boxes. Did every does everyone have nine boxes now? Yeah, um, from what I'm yeah, yeah but it's a, there's a certain way you do it to get the nine boxes. It doesn't okay. just pop up. Um, when you go to multi guess, you you know how it has another page. You click over to that page, and there's like a button that you can like click, and it goes green, and then it turns into the nine boxes. Um, I see settings, layout, panel, and grid. And then I can make it a fixed layout or not. Make the fixed layout. Check, try to see if that's. Turn on fixed layout. Aha! Yeah. <laughs> Jojo, I needed that pump, that uh, pineapple. <laughs> <answer>. <laughs> I'm so hey y'all, I'm here and I'm queer. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But um, yeah, I figured that speaking about like reconnecting and finding out you have indigenous ancestry and deciding that you want to learn more doesn't automatically mean you're reconnecting. I know that's been some discourse going on lately, and I have to say I'm kind of on that side of the fence um, because people are not bothering to confirm their lineage. They're not bothering to come to community. They're just like, look at my 23 and me, I'm reconnecting. And it's like, okay, but are you claimed? Like where, what are you? Like what's going on? 
Um, and I get that people are like, oh, I don't have to prove anything to anyone. And it's like, okay, random people on the internet know, but people from the community you claim, yeah, you, you kind of need to do that. Um, but again, that's, that's kind of another topic of conversation. Anyway, let me pull up these videos on my computer and play them for y'all. If y'all have already seen them, I apologize for the repetition, but I just want to make sure everybody in here knows what the fuck we're talking about and doesn't come in and it's like, oh, what's going on? Let me just explain to everybody. Now the watermelon. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> You're so silly. Just how I flip my cat. Yes. Okay, good. Here we go. Um, and I think do I do like these and like these and then like that? Okay. Oh look, the filter is on there. Let's I'm beautiful. I love it. Let me, let me turn it off. Okay. So it's going to be over 10 minutes. All right, here we go. It's going to be and yet one where I clear up a bunch of lies that have been told. So brace yourself because I know this is going to be an emotional roller coaster for a lot of my mutuals. Let's go all the way back. To the last few months of 2021. Can you hear it? At the time, a bunch of Thano creators were being attacked by so called hunters. One thing led to another, and I yeah. ended up in a direct conversation with yeah, some of them, some of whom I now call family. Anyway, I was asked to mediate some conversations between folks that were beefing online, so I did. I'm gonna go ahead and admit that the only reason I did is because these same people were coming to our Yucayeques workshops with the intention of enrolling with us. You would think that having access to people in community and accurate information would lead to their taking the time to learn at the feet of our elders before trying to teach others, but you'd be wrong. Throughout the time that I was helping this group of Thaino reconnect, I corrupted a lot of misinformation as well as misrepresentation of our people being put out by three of them in particular. All three of the people who I will name in a minute were not born or raised in Taino culture, let alone Puerto Rican culture, but all three of them present themselves as knowledgeable when they're not. So the first thing I would like to make sure everyone is aware of is the fact that Monique, afro Taina, Danielle, or Lucky Charms, and Rose, aka Caribbean Crossfire, were never part of our Yucayeque regardless of their either claiming to be or allowing for people to assume they were due to their proximity to me and the rest of our community. They were, at one point, in the process of enrolling publicly, but they were told more than once that this was a violation of our community protocol. Did they honor that? No. This and the fact that they consistently disrespected leadership, myself included, is why they were ultimately denied enrollment not TikTok drama. The second lie told that I would like to address is that it goes against our Yucayeques protocol to share our DNA results with others, which is not true. I told them that they did not have to prove anything to random people on the internet, and it seems they chose to twist my words to suit their agenda. I fully believe they made this protocol up to get around questions about their ancestry without coming across as suspicious. Moving on to the next and arguably most egregious set of lies, which has to do with their supposed ancestry. If you notice, all three of them like to show clearly cropped or otherwise edited ethnicity estimates. This is because the results they have shared both privately and publicly are not theirs. Every time they've gotten questioned or straight up called out, they claim that the DNA results they gave to other people are not theirs, but instead belong to a family member, usually a cousin or a grandparent which didn't belong to me. It was a cousin that was underage that wanted to take it. This raised red flags on its own, but then it came out that the results they were showing people were actually stolen from legitimately Dino people. 
Monique stole from a Puerto Rican and Chinese person whose results she got from Google. Danielle stole from an Afro-Puerto Rican person who was at one point helping her with her genealogy. And Rose realized how the other two got caught, so she stole from multiple people, with one of them having posted their results in a Sinino genealogy group on Facebook. She also lied about not having used her name on Ancestry, then changed her username and deleted her results from the site after it came out that she had no African DNA. Do that, but for a professed underage cousin to ask her rather than their own parents to do their DNA. It's also illegal if you are not the parent or legal guardian of the child in question. In addition to all of that, these three women have presented themselves as having spiritual gifts when the reality is that they have no grounding in any spiritual practice by their own admission and have opened portals they did not close, thus have entities attached to their asses that they cannot get rid of. Despite having consulted with the Bejique, which is a privilege, they chose to ignore what they were told they needed to do, but have the audacity to offer spiritual services. They also do not understand how genealogy works, but are offering to help people with theirs, which only leads me to believe they're still trying to steal other people's results to pass off as their own. Lastly, all three of them have lied on those of us who spent over a year defending them. I've heard through the Taino grapevine that they're trying to say that Gigi and Justin got kicked out of our Yuka Yeke, which is not true. <laughs> I also found out that they tried to implicate me in their lies being exposed by a faithless account in what I assume was an attempt to get me removed from our Yuka Yeke's council. The irony being that while they complain about doxing, they're out here looking up information about people they don't like. And I know this because when Rose claimed to know who political Chola's elder is, and I asked, she sent me this elder's name, as well as their picture, Chola's government name, and her home address. I caught on to their MO, though, which is to befriend a group of indigenous people. And as soon as said people start to see the red flags, they leave that group, find another group, then demonize the group they just left to the new group. They group hop like this to avoid accountability. All that said, I urge any and everyone who is following me to be careful what you say and sh The sound went off. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it was my headphones. I was trying to wear my headphones in case, in case the Turins came in here. Um, I don't know. Do, what was the last thing y'all heard? I don't even. I don't even know. But this video, for those who don't already know, is um, is on my page. Y'all can y'all can watch it on there if um you really want to know what the cutoff part i don't know where it cut off at i'm sorry y'all i always plan things and then they don't go according to plan right there i think you were getting into where they were accusing you of shit to try to uh respond cause you to be picked off of the the council oh yeah which she attempted to do again by the way I got an interesting yeah, message this yeah. morning. It's going to be a longer video, and yes, one less off is their own. Lastly, all three of them have lied on those of us who spent over a year defending them. I've heard through the Taino grapevine that they're trying to say that Gigi and Justin got kicked out of our Yuka Yeke, which is not true. I also found out that they tried to implicate me in their lies being exposed by a faceless account in what I assume was an attempt to get me removed from our Yucayekas council. The irony being that while they complain about out here looking up information about people they don't like, and I know this because when Rose claimed to know who political Chola's elder is, and I asked, she sent me this elder's name, 
as well as their picture, Chola's government name, and her home address. I caught on to their MO though, which is to befriend a group of indigenous people. And as soon as said people start to see the red flags, they leave that group, find another group, then demonize the group they just left to the new group. They group hop like this to avoid accountability. All that said, I urge any and everyone who is following me to be careful what you say and share with these people. Because while they're out here playing the victim, it's really them who are dangerous. I will be going. Okay, that's just me saying I'm going to go live. And we here, so we know that already. Okay, here's, wait. Yeah, let me, let me go ahead and play y'all the video the videos that she posted that rose being the she mind you see you know me monique and danny aren't pretendians but you're just gonna run with it what's even worse is that you're mad that people love me what okay she also posted whoops that's for later Hold on. She also posted this. I don't know if you saw, but I went ahead and posted a PSA and made sure to mention that ain't nobody sent me receipts about any Taino making false claims. So hopefully that deads that ridiculous rumor. Um, that said, be careful who y'all confide in because some of these folks will kiki in y'all's face one minute, then hop on a live and talk shit about you the next. And I will. Um, moon eyes. And pick uh, with an Italian accent and like five different flags in his bio. I don't remember his screen name, but I've seen him in, I've seen both of them in lies with Cha and then in lies with, you know, other people talking shit. So, you know. Oh, I don't know what happened there. There was definitely more to it than that. Oh, well. Next. Miyadi everyone, today's video is going to be me responding to some statements recently made by one of the three women who I recently called out for lying to me, members of our Yukayeke, and basically all of Native TikTok. Before I go any further, I want to make sure we're all on the same page by defining a straw man argument, which is an intentional misrepresentation of a person's argument, usually done by somebody lacking in intellect and or integrity. Similar to how farmers put up straw men to deter animals because they think a human is actually standing there, putting up a straw man in an argument is done when a person can't actually dispute the point being made. So they make one up and then argue that point. See, you know me, Monique and Danny aren't pretendians, but you're just gonna run with it. What's even worse is that you're mad that people love me? What? My post reads, I'm gonna need the Taino community to do better because I'm tired of seeing things like pretendians infiltrating our spaces unchecked, abusers being given titles or otherwise awarded, and languages with little to no linguistic research behind them being taught. Some of y'all are members of Yucayekeno that do nothing but misinform and are basically cults. If those of us who know better try to warn you about any of the above, though, we get accused of being haters or worse. Our people shall never truly prosper. Below that is a meme that reads, it's so frustrating knowing how fake someone is, yet people still love and defend them because they put on a good act. Y'all are not the only ones lying about who you are, but a hit dog will holler. By all means, center yourself and answer to pretendian if you want to. You gonna answer to abuser too? I don't know if you saw, but I went ahead and posted a PSA and made sure to mention that ain't nobody sent me receipts about any Taino making false claims. So hopefully that deads that ridiculous rumor. We're gonna fast forward a bit, but it's funny you say leave us alone when you aren't the victim here. I haven't been on TikTok as much as I was before, but um, you know, I'm happy to report. I haven't seen anything, you know, problematic. Nobody has run to me to be like, oh, you know, Rose, Humble, and Danny, they're so problematic. Like, none of that's been happening. So um, I think that just is really a testament to y'all's character. It's cute how, just like on Ancestry, you're trying to cover your tracks. 
You do realize any changes you make will reflect in Facebook Messenger, right? Your own page out to you is having updated your profile and cover photo two hours ago. This computer screenshot shows the exact date and time you did so. Peep how it says Friday, June 16th, 2023 at exactly 5.53 p.m. But you really tried to lie and say I copied and pasted what I shared in my last video. I know you think you're doing something with your little video playing voice recordings of me showing y'all support. However, you neglect to mention the fact that those clips are from last year and I quit talking to y'all other than what was necessary while you were still trying to enroll with us in February of this year when y'all decided to support somebody who was lying on me and other black and indigenous creators on this app. But that's okay, that's okay. You're just proving my point that y'all lie to cover up other lies and you know, you're a liar. Sure, there was a brief period of time when it came to you guys that all was quiet on the Western front, so to speak, but it didn't last long because y'all couldn't help yourselves when it came to the opportunity of centering yourselves and chasing clout. Even if it meant you would end up violating protocol, which you did, which to reiterate is what got y'all denied enrollment into our Yucayeque. Also, yes, I did ask for the information you said you had on people you claimed were going to come and attack me. I expected the name of an elder and the name of the person so that I would know who to, you know, talk to the elder about. I did not ever ask you to send me pictures of their homes, their cars, or any of that other shit. I find it interesting that you're trying to imply, aka lie, again, that you were in community because I know that your DNA tests aren't fake. You never sent me your DNA results and I never asked. As a matter of fact, the first time I laid eyes on your DNA test was when they got shared on social media. Last but not least, I never said I was nice. I only behave a little bit on this app to avoid getting hit with a bunch of CGVs and losing my account again. Oh, and I never claimed to be an elder, something you very well know. Also, you're older than I am. How about you stop lying and grow the fuck up? So she posted another video response. I don't know if it's still up, but I'm pretty sure I saved it. And I figured I'd just respond to what she said in that video in this live. So just give me a second to get that situated. I'm trying to stay organized here, but um, we'll see how this actually turns out. Where is the damn video? Oh, here we go. I hope I never have to do anything like this again. So reconnecting Taino in the chat, behave and don't steal people's DNA. Um, mod me because I'm seeing phone numbers inside the- Oh um, shit, humans. I forgot to mod you, Gigi. Hold on, I'm sorry. How do I- Oh, there we go. My bad. I totally forgot to mod your no, new account. No, it's account. okay. I just, I don't, I saw it's been sitting there for a little bit. Mm. Whoever it is. All right. Also, folks in the chat that are just coming in, I promise, I'm, if y'all are, if y'all are like uh, messaging, like adding me, that's the word I'm looking for, and I'm not responding, it's because ADHD and I'm focused on what I'm doing right now. So hold on, let me press play from the beginning. Here we go. Oh, it's it, muted. I'm up in the house. Hold honest, on. Actually, I did post my test. Whether you missed it or not is not really my fault or my problem. But yes, I did change the picture of my 
Messenger and Facebook because you decided to take the picture of me and my husband, crop and paste it, and show it everywhere. So, yeah, your point is, I didn't know I couldn't do that. And as for me supporting somebody who harmed the indigenous and black community, actually, no, I told them how I felt. So I just chose not to get involved in another drama saga. But this will be the last video because honestly, I really don't care what you or anybody else has to say. I don't have to prove myself. The bottom line is, is that you're relevant to me. And so <laughs> are the rest of your crew. So listen, if people don't like me, they can unfollow me. And that's it. I think she, yeah, I think that's it. <sighs> okay. So to that, I can't even think of a nice way to, a nice thing to call that. Um, my response is that I know Rose posted some 23andMe results. Um, in my first video, I actually showed that at least one piece of it was from someone in the Taino DNA and genealogy group that I mentioned in one of my videos, um, that she was a member of, of up until recently. Um, and if Rose is watching in, or the twins, and y'all want to blame me for anything, blame me for not being from that group because plenty of people in the Taino community have seen my videos. And um, yeah, also she absolutely did support people who were attacking me and other members of the black and indigenous community um, up until the whole powwow and, uh, hold on, I'm trying to multitask. Oh, don't look, I'm hideous. <laughs> but up until the powwow and cookout comments were made, then she, um, you know, then she withdrew her support like everybody else at that point in time. Um, what else did she say? She said, oh yeah, they weren't, they, they're constantly talking about how they're not gonna participate in any more drama and they're gonna focus on learning and reconnecting. And the next thing you know, there's a live that's all about drama and they're right there in the box, um, if not at least in the comments. So that's some bullshit. And the screenshots that I showed were directly from my Facebook Messenger. That's why I brought up her public profile and cover photos. So she didn't want anybody to see those photos. They shouldn't be your main photo on Facebook because those are your, your profile and your cover photo are always public. That's how Facebook works. Um, but I did have some screenshots from the videos that I saved that I can show y'all because I know they're kind of small. Um, if y'all want to see those. Um, and I also did a quick like screen grab of part of our messages that I showed in the videos where you can see it's like a recording of the video. It's not just the screenshots. Um, and I do have like people's names covered, which by the way, was hard to figure out how to fucking do. But um, I did it just so I could prove that like, I'm not, you know copying and pasting shit and doctoring photos you know that's them projecting because they do that shit um what else did i have like an outline here of things so i don't forget to you know mention anything um oh she did message our cacique which i know someone mentioned it in the comments but like y'all quit deciding that like it's perfectly okay to waste the time of tribal enrollment and council members and other members of leadership over your TikTok beef. Like they don't fucking care. They have other shit to do and worry about. Like people have, have had their homes kept catch on fire. There's people escaping domestic abuse that, that you know members of the community are trying to help. There's shit like that going on. Like coming to me and crying because somebody was mean to you on TikTok, like, 
You know what I mean? Unless they're being like super freaking racist and they're a member of the community, then yes, that needs to be addressed. But like, it's some serious entitlement to expect people that you're not even a member, like you're not even part of that tribe and you expect them to just drop everything for you. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but yeah. Also, can we talk about how like everybody when they get mad at us, they refer to us as like a crew or a clique, but they can't seem to figure out who the leader is. Like sometimes it's me, sometimes it's Gigi, sometimes it's Justin, sometimes it's Odin, and Odin's not even talking about You know what I mean? What'd you say, Odin? I said it's always Odin. Everything's always Odin. <laughs> yeah, I know there was like a hashtag, it's Alex's fault. I was going to start a hashtag, Gigi did it, because Gigi always gets <laughs> blamed for everything. Like, at least when it I don't have a problem with you, and I don't have a problem with them, or I don't have a problem with, it's just Gigi. Fuck Gigi. And it's like, okay, but you talking shit about us too. Like, you're throwing us in the middle of y'all, of, of your, like, beef with Gigi, so... The math's not mathing. Um, what else do I would want to not forget to bring up? I think I pretty much um, brought up, pretty much said everything I needed to say and showed y'all everything I needed to show y'all. Um, unless there's any particular screenshot that y'all saw in the clip and, you know, it's small and you'd like me to make it bigger or whatever while I have this, the panel like this. Um, and if y'all want to see the video recording of my fit, you know what? I'm just going to show that one. Fuck it. I'm not even going to wait for a request because I, that, that to me is like, okay, I know you lack integrity, but when I show receipts, when I open my mouth and say something, it's because I have the proof. A, I'm not lying and I have the proof to back it up. So, um, and y'all don't know how long I've been biting my fucking tongue, but since they could not stop running their mouths and lying, and then they decided to basically slander my Yucayeke in its entirety and lie about the reasons they got denied enrollment or whatever the fuck, yeah, I couldn't keep my, my mouth shut anymore. Okay, let me turn my camera around again. There should be a better way to do this shit. Or maybe I'm just not tech savvy enough. Did it turn around? No. I was just kidding. Let's try that again. Okay. So that's one of the screenshots I showed, and I'm covering people's names here but that's my messages with rose that's me clicking on her picture and that's it facebook taking me to her profile um and i recorded that prior to her changing all her shit but i already showed y'all she did that and when she did that and all that stuff but um also i know she i mentioned this before but um they, they do be looking up information. I know Rose claims that this is all like public information that she uses, uh, but that's not true. I have screenshots of like text messages and stuff like that that were very obviously not even to her. Um, what else? Oh, and this right here even proves because at the time I hadn't told her that I matched with Lucy, but as you can see at one point in the video, let me see, does it show? Yeah. She sent me a screenshot of their match with Lucy's whole ass name on there, her whole ass government name, which she has since changed, but she technically doxed Lucy to me and whoever else she sent those screenshots to. <sighs> but yeah, um, at this point, I'm done <laughs> um, and I don't, oops, that's not how we switch the camera back. Create or fix it. 
Okay. So, um, yeah, at this point, anyone who's already in the box, if y'all want to go ahead and say your piece or add to anything, or anything up that's been said about you or whatever, um, by all means do so. And once they do, anybody who's in the um, comments who would like to come up and, you know, again, speak your piece, clear up any, you know, lies that have been said on your name, I'll, I'll let you up. All right. Um, can I go first? Because I'm hurt and I want to jump down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Odin. Um, so I know that they told a lot of lies about me um, and also went to the Yuka Yeke to claim that I was stalking them and that I was that Mayan, uh, what was it? The Mayan menace? I think that's right. Mayan menace. Yeah. They claimed that I was that account. And then they, uh, I guess, decided to try to imply that because me and you are related, that you were helping me target them somehow. And it's like, I've had them blocked before everybody else had them blocked. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know why I'm always being accused of targeting people, but I don't give a shit about them. I'm not even Taino. And I'm not Mayan either, so I there's mean, that. <laughs> there's that. Um, and yes, Odin's absolutely right. Uh, he did, uh, not he, but uh, Rose in particular messaged our leadership, which again, not something I advertise, but I am on council. So I don't know why she thought sending shit to council and that I, like, I wouldn't find out about it or anything. But um, anyway, she definitely messaged counsel and, implic and not implicated me, but she straight up said that Odin was behind the Mayan Menace account, um, that Gigi um, were basically doxing them. Um, they, said, they said not just uh, people coming into community, but people already in community. And then she went on to say that Odin and I are related, um, essentially implying that I'm party to their doxing. And um, that would be an isolated incident if it wasn't for the fact that, like, like I mentioned earlier, she, again, after I posted my videos, basically sticking to the facts and saying, this is a problem, I need y'all to be aware. Um, she she messaged our cacique and told him that I was attacking her, which explains why she took her videos down because I'm sure she was trying to make herself look innocent and like she was just minding her own business and doesn't have any idea why I posted what I posted. So um, if you're on the outside watching Rose, uh, you suck and um, mission failure, just for the record. Um, and stop lying on my name. Stop right. lying on I everybody. Stop <laughs> lying on, including yourselves, because y'all aren't even telling the truth about who y'all fucking are. So to sit there and say, like, I know um, that your tests aren't fake and stuff. No, the fuck I don't. I, I don't. Be careful with the TikTok is sensitive to it. Oh, good looking out. Thank you. I did not know that. Um, say banana. Banana. Okay, so they're insane being a hall monitor. <laughs> I mean, by all means, by all means. Um, did anybody else want to go ahead and speak their piece? You sound far away, Chris. I can't hear you. It might be Girl, your take them AirPods out. <laughs> right, she knows they don't work. Girl, <laughs> leave me alone. I'm, I'm not to listen to broke. What? No, I'm not. No, I <laughs> meant the I meant the head the the AirPods. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So my my like I never like I don't got a story about Rose because I never really associated with her, but mine is with one of the twins. And she's going around like lying about saying that she's part of the first five civilized tribes and she never came to me about that. She didn't say I'm Cherokee or anything like that, but she said that she has a Cherokee relative and 
I just thought that was weird to bring to me because I'm not Cherokee. I'm half Chocta. And like, I thought she was okay back then, but she did like, ask, like how, she did ask like how adoption would work through Lakota. And I stated that it's a hunka ceremony, but it doesn't give you the, the status as a native. Um, you know, like any kind of benefits you don't get enrolled in through the tribe. But that was it. She never asked me about my Chakta side. And she was telling Gigi that she asked me about my Chakta side, what she did it. She never brought it up. She just said she has a Cherokee relative. And I, that was really irrelevant to bring to me and try to talk to me about that. And then she also told me to, even though like me and Gigi talk every day, she was telling me to be careful with Gigi. I'm like, like what? Like, but she was like trying to make it seem like Gigi's the problematic one and even though it was her. And I just left it at that with her and I blocked both those, uh, both the twins and Rose ever since then. So I don't, that's my indicate, uh, interaction with them and that's it. Mm -hmm. And I can confirm what she's saying is true. We heard more than one person that at one point in time they were claiming Cherokee. Um, one of them is a seminal person, so um, you're not the first person that heard the Cherokee thing and isn't even able to help them reconnect to that if, if that's true. Because, I mean, at this point they've lied so much that like anything they say now, even if it is true, people are, aren't going to believe it. I know I'm not. At this point, I got to watch you spit in the fucking test tube to believe whatever results you post. But, um, yeah. Did anybody else want to go ahead and... Uh, go ahead, everybody. Um, everybody knows um, that Megan and I are cousins. Um, we are from Mi'kmaq Nation. So, um, and I just kind of want to make a blanket uh, statement and... It, it does have relevance as to the events that took place today. Um, Megan was not on this app um, during line three in 2021. I was the one that went to line three. All of that went down in August. She did not come onto the app until October, November, and she didn't hit native TikTok until January of 2022. So, you know, when you first come on this app, right, you're just trying to find people, you're trying to make friends. And it's it's hard because you don't know, you know, a lot of people weren't aware of the Line 3 drama. A lot of people weren't aware of who is who, who's a pretendian, who's not. You're just trying to figure this whole app thing out, right? Um, so, um, first of all, Megan was not on the app during all of that. So she would not know you know, the events that took place around that timeline, and I don't even need to get in it into all of that. Um, however, um, what you cannot do and what I will not uh, stand for is um, my cousin being blamed for friendships with people she was completely unaware that were problematic in the very beginning when she came on this app um, because she was late to the party, right? Um, you know, a lot of us were on end in time, so, you know, but I mean, um, I love the app and half the time I don't know what's going on unless someone tells me. <laughs> right, right, right. So today, um, you know, she, she got messaged um, by, by Rose, you know, claiming that she was going to expose her as being dangerous for being friends with, you know, a, a convicted pedophile, you know, and all of that. Um, and at the time she had her makeup business, uh, you know, she was friends with that particular person, significant other. So little, she did not know and she was unaware she was promoting her business, you know, and that's what a lot of people do on, on TikTok. And that's how she found, you know, native, native TikTok. So all of that, um, just goes to show you, like, if you're going to bring up and drag events that happened that um, aren't even relevant to what's taking place now, that just goes to show um, that nobody knows timelines and things that took that took place and took event, you know? So it, it, it's just, it's crazy to me that somebody wants to try to weaponize something that she didn't even have any part of and that she wasn't even around when all of the line three stuff was going on. So really that's all I have to say. Um, I support, 
you know, the Taino community. I, you have a beautiful, strong voice, um, Taino librarian. You do. You speak up for your people. You educate. Um, you have great content. And um, I just, I love everybody on the panel. And uh, that's really, uh, that's really all I have to say. But thank you for letting me up. I just wanted to clear that up. Like I said, um, you, Megan, Rice and beans in here. There's quite a few people that I was given a very wrong impression about and just preemptively blocked because there were so many people coming at us that I was like, I don't, I don't want it. Um, and Megan, if you want to come up, um, you can go ahead and send a request so you can speak for yourself because I'm sure you have plenty to say. Um, I, I think she's traveling right now. She's coming back oh, from gotcha. a rest, so she couldn't. But she's in the comments, and you know. I just wanted to speak generally on it. Um, she does have some receipts over on her page if anybody wants to go take a look. And um, she sure. wanted me to speak for her. So her DMs are open, my DMs are open if anybody has any questions or anything that you wanna clear up or, you know, I'll, I'll be more than happy to, to do that. And I know she will too. So thank you all for your time. Um, I'll allow somebody up to, to speak, but um, love you guys. Me too. Thank you for coming up. All right. Who wants to go next? Um, I just want to say that to the core group of people that I first connected to when I first got on this app, um, Gigi, Jojo, Justin, I want to send, send my sincerest apologies, say, I'm really sorry for being so slow um, with the uptick. I should have realized what was going on. And I, I was so stuck on my own shit and um, other parts of, of things that were going on that I didn't even realize, like, how bad it had gotten. Um, like, I honestly, like, I was, I, Rose, I already called her ticket, like, from the very beginning. Like, I already knew what she was about. Um, she had uh she always had centered herself in every conversation she always tokenized her black um she was always being agreeable to people that were being problematic towards the you know, people um and apologetic and she kept speaking for all of us um so i already knew what she was about from the beginning um but i honestly because of the fact that danny um the twins would defend me so much um from people that were harming me I uh, I was blinded to like everything else uh, because I allowed my personal feelings for people that were speaking up for me to 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 even see what was going on with all of y'all. Like I and to be honest, we don't y'all don't come to me for stuff like that. And I and and I understand because you know who the fuck am I? You know what I'm saying? So like I didn't even like um, like I didn't know, but still I should have known, right? I shouldn't have my head so far up my ass that I didn't even see what was going on with y'all. So I do want to apologize for that and take responsibility because that wasn't, that wasn't good. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, um, that, no, and I, 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 I'm done. I'm just, I'm, I'm up here as support. Like the twins never did anything directly to me, but you know how I am about our people. If you fuck with one of us, you fuck with us all. That is how I feel. And it, I may not be the most connected. I may not be the most knowledgeable, which is why I do not talk about Taino spirituality and Taino um, um, cultural items unless I'm like, I'm fucking sure that this is what we do. Um, I, I care about us to the point where if you fuck with one of us, you fuck with us all. So like, honestly, the fact that this shit was happening. Aloha, everyone. Hello. And the fact that this shit was happening with, you know, other people, which I haven't been mentioned, so I'm not going to say anything like all those people are blocked. Um, I'm not um, fucking with any of them anymore. But like, I'm I'm super hurt, man, because this keeps happening to us, man, because we want to be in community with our with the larger diaspora that we keep running into people that use that that need for connection that want for family to like for i don't even know for what purpose like and the thing is i know that there's trauma there too so you know i'm gonna say in the most empathetic loving way for the entirety of those of us that are also afro descendiente there's a there's a longing there too and and sometimes that longing turns into like a, a poisonous like 
seed that gets planted where you start to do things that is is harmful to the entirety of the diaspora because you want you want to be connected so bad to people but the the way that all that shit went about from watching this live and from from the the videos that were coming out that in the library like that ain't that is not how you do that you know what i'm saying that is not how you make those connections you need to we need to be more vigilant and understanding that you could be who the fuck you are and connect to your people without having to pretend to be someone that you're not you know what i'm saying because just the fact of the loan that the, that these two people in particular the twins are afro descendiente that should have been enough right that should have been enough but we could have found a connection through that right but the fact that you have to lie about all this other stuff and all this DNA shit, I don't understand that, right? And that, and that, I, I want to reiterate that that does come from trauma, right? That does come from, and I'm not giving excuses for nobody, because like I said, I blocked them, and what they did was fucked up. But I'm just, I'm hurt, y'all. I'm hurt, and I don't want to center myself, but I just want to say that that I'm just hurt for 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 the for all of us because this is. It keeps happening, bro. Like, it just keeps happening to us. We always trust people, and then they burn us. Like, three... This is number one, two, three, four, five people who are prevalent, like, in on the app that we've made connections with, that we've defended, that we've protected, that we've accepted into our little circle, and they keep disappointing. And I just... I don't know what else to do. Um, That's all I have to say about that. Sorry. You're, you're good. You're good. And I mean, like that, that's why this sucks so much is because, you know, a lot of us defended them and like you, you know, um, I can acknowledge my bias. I saw them attacking, um, being attacked by the same people who were coming at me sideways and attacking other people. So, you know, like you said, and I, everyone who's in here or recording or whatever, you know, take note that, you know, people, we go hard for each other, okay? That doesn't make us a click. That doesn't make us a crew. That doesn't make us a G-A-N-G. That just makes us loyal. And some of y'all show that you're not Taino because you ain't got no fucking loyalty. Anyway. And as anyway. a person, as a person who's not Taino, but a person who is part indigenous, I personally haven't experienced what you, uh, um, Oshun just explained I haven't personally experienced backstabbing but that doesn't that doesn't mean that I won't experience it because I'm pretty sure it will happen to me but I haven't personally experienced but um Jojo has catched me up on it and about the twins and about LJ and really and truly I'm really just sh shocked because like I've def I've actually defended them in the past and everything but i i just i did not expect it i did not see it coming basically and i'm at a loss for words yeah i mean you can you can ask some of the folks on this panel like i was both going back and forth on whether or not i should even say anything you know because i know that they've already time it's like there's a reason you know, that people, I'm not justifying anti-blackness, racism, and all that stuff, you know, straight up attacks. But when people were trying to check them and be like, hey, you know, we don't do that. This is disrespectful, whatever, whatever. It just, it went in one ear and out the other, you know, they'd smile and nod and be like, okay, I hear you or whatever. And then turn around and do the same shit. So it got to the point where it's like, I'm talking to a wall. Like, you know how many people there are that are trying to reconnect that wish they had you know, all of this available to them as far as access to, you know, members of leadership and members of the community and whatever, whatever, and you're just squandering it. Meanwhile, there's people that, I mean, just in this chat alone are also adopted and are, you know, doing their damnness to do things right. And they may end up dealing with um, stronger gatekeeping than they may have experienced otherwise, like for me as an individual, for example, because of the bullshit I have experienced otherwise, like for me as an individual. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, so what happened? Hold I on, was, I'll I come back. Just, Hold on, so I'll, really I'll get out. I'll, I'll leave and come oh, back. Hold on, I'll come back. 
Um, can I can I add to what you were saying, Thano Library? Because like this shit of going to leadership of Yukayekes for like petty shit is really disgusting to me because like I don't even go to like prominent creators on the app when I'm around having issues with people. So let alone actual leadership in our communities. Like like we're sitting here still facing the effects of of of, of Hurricane Maria, still facing the effects of colonization of our fucking country, of our of our people. And 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 for fucking TikTok drama, like you got me fucked the hell up. Like I'm sorry for my language, but god damn it, like this shit, that shit threw me. When you said that, it threw me, bro. Like that's, I'm like, lady, like lady Rose, like, like whole ass that's what they were doing to me. Off of council because she's because she's, I don't know, man, because she got caught in her lies, and I, you know, was one of the people that was gonna go ahead and speak on it, you know. But what if they felt, what if they felt, even if you were not at fault, Dino Library, right? You, what if they felt that just your presence alone on the app was pro, was a problem, right? For the community, right? What if they decide, what if everyone had decided that you did, that even though you're trying to bring education, that this TikTok beef drama was too much for the community? What if that were to happen? You know how many people would lose access to information, lose access to, to, to being able to find themselves like that? like for your to be for you to be so fucking goddamn selfish to 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 bring your own personal beef towards other uh, to, towards towards leadership and they because they don't they don't be on on social media like that so as far as they're concerned this is all crap you know what i'm saying like like uh, like I, I, it, this isn't real to them they're like that is not a real place <laughs> Right. But what I'm saying is that like, like the information that you bring, the, the things that you do, I refer people to you all the time. Like, I'm always like, oh, you want to even other natives that are not Taino. I'd be like, oh, you want to learn how to da-da-da? go to Taino library, you know, go to her, go to her website, go to that website, go to her page. Um, she, 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 that the information that she gives is invaluable. But if they decided, you know, we, we're going to have to pull this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like. I, I don't know. It just it bothers me because it feels it, it, you. It feel like you're adding other barriers, not just to individual people, but to whole groups of people that might, like you said, I'm I'm in I'm in Day County. I I don't know any connected Taino people here. You know what I'm saying? So like the idea that that people are going to leadership off of bullshit like that. That's like it, that's wild. It's crazy. Yeah. And I mean, like, Gigi was one of the people that talked me out of leaving the app because I was so upset that I was like, if I'm going to be used and abused like this, then, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to focus. I'm going to do like, like our elders and only focus on the people in our community. And, you know, sorry about it to everyone else. But, um, you know, for all the, all the shit people want to say about Gigi, she, <laughs> she'd be telling the truth and she's a ride or die, except she ain't trying to die for nobody. So. Don't know. Yeah, don't well, nobody, I don't know. Nobody she said shooting shots at her. She said something on a live that threw me off one day, and I was just like, girl, you did not say that. She was like, I'm not even going to repeat it. She's like, I'll do something for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she's right or that. Let's put it that way. Like, she's a soldier. Because I was like, I, I mean, let, let's face it. The reason why Gigi gets picked on the most is because of how she presents phenotypically. Let's keep it real. Um, I think people, what I mean by that is that people find her as an easy scapegoat. Um, because you know, if she fights back, or if she argues back, then then uh, people would say that 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 she's being problematic, right? Because that that is that is why um, Gigi gets targeted so much, right? Um, so we got to keep that real. And I'm sorry that you have to go through that. That's a, um, an unfortunate, <clears throat> an unfortunate thing that you and me have to, uh, you know, because we're privileged that you know it is what it is. That, that's something that we have to deal with, but. That type of bullshit lying on people, that's not cute. That's fucked up. That's not okay. No, it's not. And I and I meant to mention earlier, by the way, because you had apologized for, you know, being in the middle of your own shit and not having seen what was going on, all of what was going on. That is not your fault. I mean, we we get it. Like I that for a month and came back and I had no fucking clue. Like she hit the fan and I'm like, what is going on? You know, and that's because I had to take care of my own shit, my mental health or whatever was going on at the time. So like, that's not something you have to apologize for. Shun. 
No, no, I get it. Like, I'm not, I, I just, it's just, it, you know how you feel, like, when you make connections with people, like, and you, you're blinded to, like, the, the shit that, you know, especially when they mention stuff, but you're just like, oh, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear, I don't want to get involved. You know what I mean? Because we, we've been, I, I've been personally dragged into to stuff where I took sides where I shouldn't have. So it's like, I, I, like, I understand what you're saying, this sentiment, but I'm just saying, like, it's not like they haven't hinted on some of the stuff that's going on, but I was always, like, I just, I don't want to be in it, don't don't involve me, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I didn't realize how bad it had gotten, and that's why I just was, like, I gotta, I gotta take some responsibility for that, because, like, they were, they were hinting to me, like, they were kind of telling me, well, mm, well, this, you know, they're not what you think, and then I, I was just like, you know what, I don't want to be involved in, in personal beef and, and squabbles, but this isn't more than that, this is more than personal beef, exactly. this is more than squabble, this is dangerous, like, the doxing shit, like, that's, wild and the thing is they have been docs before themselves so the fact that they have experienced that to me and they're they were so quick to do like pictures of people's houses that you know library like are you fucking for real like pe- like you, you we Cars, stop- you know? all that stuff you know and some of this you know i will go ahead and say some of the information i was given was public information you know but but not all of it definitely not all of it even if it's public information, you don't share that kind of stuff with other people. That's so violating. Yeah. I mean, some of the stuff was, you know, like I said, and I admitted it, you know, I could say she, she knew certain, um, you know, people's names and whatnot. I had asked like, Hey, can you give me the like information on these people? Cause she, they were telling me, Hey, they're going to attack you, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, all right, well, I need to protect myself. I got kids, you know? Yeah. Um, but like I said in my video, like I thought I was going to get the name of an elder and maybe their name so that, you know, cause I know TikTok handles, but if I go to an elder and I'm like, you know, so-and-so is, is, you know, doing this, this, and this, they're going to be like, who? So that's, that's the information I was asking about. You know, I was not asking for people's addresses and shit like that. Um, like she tried to imply by saying that I was lying about the reason that, um, that she had sent me that stuff. Um, just real quick, um, this is like um, algo. Um, si, si una persona no es parte de la diáspora, si, si piden, it's not my life, but I'm just saying, si, si piden uh, a hablar a su win, um, cuidado um, about who, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna si, be more si, direct than that. Yeah. Um... No estoy de acuerdo, porque si la gente no tiene nada que ver con esto, ¿para qué quieren entrar? Um, did anybody have anything else they... I know rice and beans, you, you probably... Yes, know. I've been... Yeah, I was, I was trying to feed my daughter, so I was just being quiet and listening to everything. Wow, that's crazy. Um, yep. Yeah, so I actually connected with them because of the mental health content that I used to post. So I know that there's a lot of trauma and stuff with the twins. I know that one of them, you know, it, it, irrelevant. Anyways, they had my personal number. You know, we would FaceTime. They would sit in my kitchen with me from Nicola. We're mosquito. I'm not even Taino. I'm not a northern tribe. I'm not Taino. I'm not. I'm not even from that country. Um, but she would ask my dad all these questions, you know, because he grew up there. That's he's yeah. He, he knew the culture. He he knew everything about it. Um, and then they started posting all the this. It's like you 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 hear experiences and then you take them on as your own, you know and like oh. start monetizing off of that and i i found that kind of strange so we backed off a little bit and then um i had my daughter um i'm a single mom i got a lot of shit going on in my life don't really have time for drama but she uh monique called me in it was either october or november and um she was crying bawling out and i was like oh my god like what is wrong tell me are you okay did somebody hurt you and she's like you know so and so has a video up of me 
Um, all of these people in the comments are calling me a wobble. Um, I, my dad just died. I cannot handle this. Can you please make them stop? So immediately I go to see who it is. I see that they're one of my mutuals, somebody that I know like really well. I have their personal number. I call them. I'm like, yo, this is not cool. She's going through all of this stuff right now. You need to take this down immediately. So he took it down, but then quit talking to me because he knew that they were liars. And he was like, you're going to find out one day. So there goes that really good friend of mine. Um, and then a few days later, a live gets sent to me from Afro model, from Afro native model. And, um, I click on it and I can't open it. And I was like, what the hell? Like it's saying that uh, like live not found or whatever. So I send that live to another account that I have and I open it up and I see that it's Monique and I'm like, why would she block me? That's so weird. So I text her and I'm like, yo, what's going on? And she said, oh, all of these people are doxing me. Um, you know, they're sharing my personal info. I'm, I'm scared and I don't want them to come after you. I'm trying to protect you. I was like, okay, that's kind of, it's kind of weird, but a heads whatever. up would have protected you, but okay. Right. Like, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Hey, this is going on, you know, might want to look out, not block me and quit talking to me. So I was like, that's strange. But then like all of my content started getting reported. I've been, th I've this, this page that I have is my sixth account now. That's the six, six, six. This is my oh, sixth wow. account. <laughs> I've been banned so many times since I've met these girls. I, this it's is my fourth account. My, my <laughs> I, I, I can't. And then I started, people started sending me videos. They, the way that they twist and, and delete certain things that they send and manipulate conversations. I just, they told everybody that I'm a racist, snake, bitch, cunt, whatever, that you can't trust because I backstab you and, like, I'm out for myself and I don't care about anybody. I am a, first off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real, I'm autistic. I am very upfront and forward about the things that I feel, um, how, how I view things. I'm very blunt about everything. I, I don't mean to be, um, but I, I'm racist is not one thing I am. Um, I have experienced racism, you know, being a darker kid growing up in the South with two immigrant parents. That was hard. I, I know what that's like. I don't, I don't put that on other people. Um, so I lost so many friends because of them, because of all the lives, whole lives were started about me. Alex Faith and I were, were cool. And then those girls got involved and we weren't cool anymore. Me and Azul were cool. And then those girls got involved and Azul blocked me. So many people that I was close with because I needed a community because I'm a single mom. <laughs> they just quit talking to me and I didn't know why. And it's all because of them. I'm like, so, so I was scrolling through my for you page this morning and I saw Chris's video and I was like, Whew, I was elated. Like, finally, I'm so glad somebody finally is calling them out for their bullshit and all of their crazy manipulative stuff because they have literally put me through hell. And I am so, I'm so done with all of their boo hoo. Oh, woe is me. I'm the victim bullshit because all of us have been through so much shit and we're not acting like assholes on the internet. You know what I mean? So that's oh, not a fucking I, I agree. When, when you said that you got called crying, I got a flashback because there was a, a live. Um, I'm sure most people here know about the infamous Christmas live. Um, there was two parts to it, but um, the first one I had no idea about and I didn't, you know, um, I think the second one was the one that I ended up coming in like hella late. And I was I was on the phone with one of them because they, you know, they were very upset. They were crying. They, um, you know, were speaking. Um, I don't want to say ideation mm -hmm. type stuff. And I was like, 
this is more important than whatever the hell is going on on TikTok right now. Yes. You know, yeah. and so many people thought I was like hiding and I didn't want to talk or anything like that. And that that wasn't it. I was literally taking care of a member of a potential member because again, I said this before, they were never part of our Yucayeque. They were coming to our workshop and they did they they did start the process of, you know, trying to get enrolled with us, but um you know, and they claim that this like faceless whatever account that docks them is the reason that they were denied enrollment. That that's not why they were denied enrollment. There we have protocols and they violated multiple even after they were told, hey, this is a violation of protocol. You might want to stop doing that. They didn't care because if they had the opportunity to chase clout and gain viewers, you know, gain likes or followers, whatever the hell. They were going to do that. Um, yeah, that was their priority or that's how it seems anyway, you know, because they were always talking about, oh, well, am I even going to be able to reconnect then if I'm in trouble for, you know, if I get in trouble for this or whatever, whatever. And I'm like, you're you're good, you know, just focus on on learning and, and coming to to our meetings and, you know, all of that stuff. But they were literally they would literally be on live all day into the night at work and everything, just, you know what I mean? Teaching what they don't know. You know, you don't know about Puerto Rican culture. You don't know about Taino culture. You don't know Bomba. You like, you you don't know about spirituality. You don't know about, um, even in the psych field, wanting to offer like mental health services without any kind of license or degree, you gonna get sued. Like, what you want. Um, it's just, it's, it's really bad because like you said, I picked up on that, on that MO of playing the victim and, you know, weaponizing their tears and, you know, using the fact that they're adopted to kind of like gain empathy because I know I specifically, um, any time that they would like say something and it just like felt off. I was like, oh, well, you know, they're adopted and they're also part of the diaspora. That's probably why, you know, maybe they're, you know, still trying to put pieces of the puzzle together and they're not remembering right. Or like I, there were so many times that they were extended grace that, that they, you know, that people kind of were like, okay, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, you know, because we've all been attacked and told that, you know, because of the fact that we're mixed, we're not indigenous and, you know, all the bullshit all the blood quantum type of bullshit that a lot of people experience on this app. But, you know, when, when it came out that they were literally taking other people's DNA and presenting it as their own, that's why Rose talking about, oh, if you don't like me or you're mad that people love me, girl, this is not about you. This is not about whether, you know, your, your attempts at being popular by being fake as fuck to literally everybody. This is about the fact that y'all are out here lying about who you are, taking people's DNA tests, you know, and causing harm, not just to the Taino community, but the indigenous community as a whole. Cause clearly, you know, Odin was just up here. He's not Taino, you're not Taino. Like this has gone beyond what any of us thought it really was. Well, every time someone talks about Rose, Lady Rose, like when they, I'm telling you every single time, people do not like her they just like that she's agreeable that's literally it because if you say something she'll say yeah that's true yeah you live and she has done that to people that were actively harmful to us to the point where some people were even trying to investigate who we were people some people were trying to find that's out what who she told me we were she got on those things uh, are you people would send me shit with her on those lives just be like yeah mm -hmm, yeah i'm sorry you know we're not all like that we're us taino people are not blah 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 and i'm just like why are you in these problematic people's lives being speaking for 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 the for the diaspora like who the who the fuck made you uh, a, a queen of the Taino people, you know what I'm saying, and and that's that. I mean that 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 was because I didn't know the stuff that was going on with the twins like that. But that's the shit that pissed me off about Lady Rose. And anybody can ask me. I called that shit out from the beginning. I was like, y'all, I don't her vibe. I just didn't like it. It's something about her vibe where she was like, and people were like, oh no, she just you know entitled. 
Right. She she's fake and she's entitled, you know, something that I took too long to realize, you know, and again, like you have your intuition and I need to stop second guessing that bitch because she be knowing and I be I just be wanting to give people the benefit of the doubt, you know, like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm seeing, you know, maybe I'm being too whatever, but like, nah, it's that that's not what it is. And the fact that she's literally telling people she's an elder. She absolutely the fuck is not. What? Like no fucking way. Did she really and, say and that? And in the Christmas slide, they they were calling like Taino elders. Guess whose ass went up into the box? She Rose. literally does that, and every even when I was hosting a live that was about that was just about the the black diaspora, right? She would always want to be there, and I'm like, why are you up here? You are not black. You do not claim to be black. You do not identify as a black woman. Why are you up here? And then she would always want to talk about her kids, and I'm like, you stop. No. Like, like, sorry. There was, there was a live that I saw um, and she, you know, hopped in the box because as much as she talks about not wanting to be in drama, like I said, you can consistently find her in a live in the middle of some drama talking shit. Um, but <laughs> there was a point in time where she was talking about being black and it was Jaunty's live. And he was like, you know, respectfully, Rose, you're not black. And that shit, <laughs> I was like, damn, okay. Um, but yeah, it's just, and, and the live that happened literally yesterday, again, a drama live that she was all up in. I literally, I, I was sent clips of the live and I sat there and watched her be agreeable, but like at the same time, kind of like come at Apache Gana sideways. But then she was like, oh, I'm not trying to come at you or whatever. But it was like, you literally just questioned why she wanted to have a private conversation with LJ instead of putting all this shit on blast that she that she heard or whatever on TikTok. And you're, you're like, well, then why did you do this? And blah, 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 blah. I'm not trying to come at you sideways. And it's like, girl, be for real. What? And so, and, and Lion Queen, I believe it was, said it in the comments where, you know, I played that one clip of her being like, it was a cousin, you know, that wanted, that was underage and blah, 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 blah. And even her body language was like, like, she doesn't even believe her own fucking lie. Like, it's just, it's wild. And I thought, you know, that that was a defensiveness thing as far as, um, sorry, my husband's like, do you want food? Um... <laughs> But um, I thought it was just, you know, a self, like a coping mechanism, you know what I mean? Because I know that, you know, people who have lived through trauma can can be people pleasers. So, um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm making excuses for people that don't deserve it at the end of the day. You're not wrong, thing the library like that. Like, and you do, and you do have a lot of empathy for us, for a lot of us, and how, and, and respect for how a lot of us identify because you know we don't all identify the same way. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like people like her make it hard for people like Gigi and me who are just trying to be ourselves. And 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 it's like you know when you have someone who like she's not even ambiguous in the least. She she's a, she's a fucking whole white woman presenting. Right. So like like for her to just like now all of a sudden, I didn't even know she was claiming to be black now. So like for now all of a sudden to hear this, it's like it's it, it, it's such a violation and it just hurts so much that 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 people like her do this shit because it makes it it doesn't it doesn't it's not it doesn't help what we're trying to do, right? Like my my, my goal has always been to try to bring try to bridge the gap between the diaspora, especially those of us that are Afro Indigenous. Like like I try to bridge these gaps, but when people like her go up on lives like this and start fucking contacting like elders and shit like that is such so harmful because people are not going to trust us in their lives they don't want they're not going to trust us in their spaces they're going to be like oh you puerto ricans are i even brought, made up live the other day about how problematic i keep seeing all these puerto ricans uh, and also people who are afro uh, afro taino like claimed you know who claim to be um um just saying problematic shit on the on the thing i'm like people are not going to want us in their spaces because of that and it how can we bridge gaps across the diaspora if we're having if we're having to deal with this crap you know and it, like you said it's probably trauma there and maybe that's what she's agreeable but you're right we got to stop making excuses for people like that and we got to start just try, we got to leave them behind they got to be left behind they can't they can't come with us
Yeah, it, it's uh, it's one of those things where it's like you know I hate it, but at the end of the day, like you're you're cut off because you're you're not trying to learn. You don't contribute to the community in any way, other than to cause cause harm. You know, because she was definitely asserting herself in black spaces as an Afro Indigenous person. And I found it real suspicious that whenever the her test first got released showing no African DNA, all of a sudden Afro Indigenous is off of her profile. All of a sudden, you know, a couple days later, her ancestry profile, her name changed, her um, she took her picture down. She straight up deleted that DNA test off of ancestry. And I looked because I was like, can you, because some, some DNA um, sites, um, you kind of have to give permission to share it with people who you match. Ancestry doesn't have the option to not show people that you match with your DNA. And she probably realized that. So she was like, oh shit, let me, let me delete this. And it's like, okay, but if that's not your DNA, you're claiming it's your cousins, your underage cousins, not the parent or legal guardian. So that's that's problematic in and of itself but like if it's not even your dna test why are you why did you delete it why why you know what i mean and she did the same thing with facebook not too long ago and then try to make it seem like i'm saying she's not allowed to change her profile picture and cover photo that's not you know straw man argument that's not at all what i'm saying i'm simply pointing out that i did not you know take a picture of yours and do all this editing just to put it and and say that you said things that you didn't say i'm it was literally just screenshots from my facebook messenger and some of y'all saw when i showed the recording that that's literally on on the recording that's on my facebook messenger i didn't have to crop or edit anything you know and i felt like her her trying to change her picture like see even my profile picture just lying on top of lying on top of lying to cover up your lies and it's like eventually you lose track of what even the fuck you said and that's how you get caught just tell the truth you know nobody cares if you have 0.7 percent you know indigenous dna all we care is that you have the lineage how much of it is present in your blood is is irrelevant to us especially taino who are mixed as fuck a lot of the time you know, the problem is you lying on people, you stealing DNA tests, you know, you going to to leadership and, and trying to, you know, misrepresent me and have them questioning me like, hey, you know, some of the shit like the, the whole her telling me she matched with Lucy, I had completely forgotten about. The only reason I even found it was because I was going through my Facebook messages trying to prove to them that I wasn't lying about that, that the things she was saying were not true and that the things I was saying weren't lies. Like, it's it's mess. But um, I don't know if anybody else wants to speak and for people who are just coming in, especially if we're mutuals and you, are, you have been directly affected, negatively impacted by Rose, Danny or Monique, um, you're welcome to to send a request and come in the box. I just want to say one more thing and then I'm going to drop down. I'm going to stay in the comments because I really want to keep listening to this. Um, okay. I, I was, um, my pregnancy was very hard for me. I ended up in the hospital a lot. Um, I was assaulted by a doctor and I made a TikTok about it. Holy they shit. they took my TikTok. They monetized off of that. They got following off of that. They They got likes clicks and views off of my fucking trauma and then they fucking blocked me and then they started making videos saying how they helped me they helped me through my trauma they did all of this and then i backstabbed them wow that's i'm so sorry i'm, I'm just i just I, I really want everybody to know and if anybody is listening to this thinking that you know we're just we're just doing this to, to point fingers at them or to, to pick on them, we're not. They're not nice people. They're not good people. Oh, they're nice. They they're use not, you for your not. trauma and, and abuse you and, and then block you and, and have a whole following come after you. That's ridiculous. So that's, I, that's, that's my piece. Um, thank you so much for, for speaking up about this. I, whew, this made my day. I'm this so sorry made my fucking day. 
I'm so sorry, but I'm, I'm glad that you were able to kind of clear the air and everything. Um, and I'm sorry I blocked you. <laughs> I really <laughs> like, like I said before, I blocked so many freaking people because they painted them out as anti-black or, you know, just attacking them, being hateful, doing all this. And I was like, well, I don't want that energy coming my way. So right. Block, no. I'm good. You know, that's so. what they do. I ended up blocking so many people because they told me that about people. They told me that they're harmful that they're evil people that they just like to lie and manipulate and attack so i blocked baby g i, I blocked you know justin I, I blocked jojo i blocked so many people because they wow. told me that you guys were like just toxic crazy people and i was like well i don't need them around me while i'm fucking. they, they were telling me that you doxed them that you were the one that was doxing them that you almost sent me about. messages from like random phone numbers saying that it was you threatening them like I was, that's why I was trying to raise my hand to tell you because like when all this started, when I got connected with the twins, it was because monetizing off that situation with you, right? And then next thing you know, they were telling me that you like, I don't know, I guess you and Megan were attacking them. And it's now, always me and Megan. Me and Megan yeah. are the bullies. <laughs> yeah, and to yeah, block you Megan guys, so I, I, at that point, I didn't even like I I know you blocked me because I couldn't find your profile and I was like okay whatever maybe she left up I never seen you again and I just kind of moved on with my life, but I can 100% like say that they told me that you were like so problematic and so evil and they made it seem like Megan was paying you off to do all their biddings her bidding. Oh my god, Megan, do you hear that? You were paying me to do your bidding. <laughs> Girl, you got money oh, like that. Let me find I guess. <laughs> that's, wow. that's, that's, that's wild. Shit. Since that's confirming wild. it, like they told just I wish someone thing. would pay me to do their bidding. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna go. I gotta eat. Um, but thank you so much for this. This was amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, keep watching. Yeah, you okay. can pay me. Enjoy I'm your name. You can I'm about to say, you anybody who wants to pay me my Cash App and Venmo and all <laughs> that stuff, just, you know, check out my bio. <laughs> Let me shut up. Um, oh, sorry. I, if y'all are sending requests, I am so incredibly sorry that I haven't I seen them. I and wasn't I, sure if Gigi. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to speak delay. on my I'm experience sorry. real quick. Okay. Um, so I met the twins um, the late 2021 and um, when I had met them, I don't know, I kind of like always had like a feeling about them, but I, like Diana Library said, like I always try to look past it because I felt bad for them. They were constantly always crying to me about how people were always attacking them. And then you know me, I'm like going in to defend them and you know, even when things were going on, things wouldn't make sense. And I think that they didn't like the fact that when I started to catch on things not adding up or like they would say somebody was attacking them and I would see them like being in community with that same person and talking to them. And I'm like, why do you have us out here, you know, arguing with these people if you're just going to go be friends with them? Because that's weird to me. And it just started for me, things started like not to add up. And I noticed that they were trying to like, after all the drama, like I would see them push away because they know that I catch on to stuff. And people were starting to come up to me and tell me, yo, the twins, they, they told me to stay away from you because you're problematic. And I'm like, how am I problematic? Because I see through their bullshit. And that was literally always it. But my thing was I didn't want to call them out or anything is because I felt bad for them because they were constantly like having, you know, problems with people. And, um, you know, it got to the point where like, even with the wobble hunters, like just me defending them in general from that situation, I ended up getting my criminal record doxxed. And now like literally everybody that has like a problem with me, they use that against me. They post it up online. Um, you know, apparently Danny, you know, went to people to get me kicked out of my Yuka using my criminal record trying to demonize me. So it's just like, you know, I just want people to say it like to know, like a lot of my criminal record circles back to me being in a really abusive relationship with 
a guy who literally used to weaponize the police on me every time I wanted to leave him. And what he did is made me like, I lost everything, like my house, um, you know, I lost custody of my children. Uh, he used to literally physically beat the crap out of me. So in some of those records, you would see me black and blue, broken nose, like half, you know, conscious because of that situation. And it honestly pisses me off so bad every time I see people try to use those situations that as like to like demonize me as a person. Most of the time I would catch those charges all based off of him lying. None of them stuck. None of a lot of those charges, I was never uh what convicted. is it convicted. You know, I was just charged with them. Um it was usually like those kind of situations where he was just trying to weaponize white supremacy tactics to kind of push me down into a corner. I left Florida for a reason because he would not leave me alone. And me joining this app and like reconnecting, like that's all I really wanted to do. I didn't want to be a part of like all this drama that, you know, happened with the Wobble Hunters. That's why like I don't even get involved. If I see them somewhere, I usually just leave now because I kind of feel dumb like they were right like I don't know I don't think that they were right in the sense of being anti-black towards the twins but in the sense of like you know my last conversation with Danny we didn't even have no problems I was defending her because again people were calling her a pretendian and um you know saying accusations about her saying that she was using pseudo language towards other natives calling them Siberians and the conversation didn't really add up. And this is when I started to kind of do my own digging is when she told me that when she did her DNA test, that it didn't come up native no more, that her Taino uh, blood thing didn't come up native no more, that it was now saying unknown. And she's like, is that normal? And at that time I hadn't taken a DNA test, so I didn't know how it worked, but I thought it was funny and I thought it was weird. And then she had told me that she, was trying to get in, adopted to because that she has Choctaw ties and she just can't find out where, which that's another thing that didn't make sense to me. And I didn't say nothing because I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to let them be. If, if she was native, she's native, she's not, she's not. I moved on and they jumped on this bandwagon with LJ to attack me which kind of pushed me into a corner to have to defend myself and um, debunked all their lies. But they, she just did it, Humble did it the other day where she was in the live and she was like, baby G's on a screenshot saying that she wanted to slap the F out of me. Yeah, because if you show the whole conversation, somebody was coming to me telling me that they they were using fake screenshots of different dna's and that they weren't really native and i was like if i was like i was reacting i was like let me find out that they've been lying and i've been sticking my neck out all this time for for me to like have gone through so much just to find out that they've been lying this whole time which is exactly what happened so like I wasn't yeah. like verbally saying I was actually gonna I'm not gonna travel to wherever the fuck they live to put my hands on them but it was just like a reactionary, you know, me Same. talking. That's how yeah. I talk. But it was it's just they're constantly demonizing me to people. But when I'm around and when I you know go up to them and ask them about like you know what this person said or this person said or what am I doing that you're you're feeling like I'm attacking you. They'll be like, no, you're not really attacking me. And no, we're cool and we don't have no problems. And then they'll turn around and go to that person and talk about me to that person. Like, it's so weird. I can't even like stay on like track because it's just so it's much. It's, it's, it's like a year and a half was really crazy. And like, I don't even want to be on TikTok. Like at one point, I don't even want to be no more because of this crap that happened like at one point I wasn't even eating because I was getting attacked left and right and I didn't even understand why until people started coming up to me and telling me well the twins are telling me this this and this and that about you and then like I go and I see them like live with Anna Apache and, and I'm like what? like I see I'm seeing these things that. and like they just like this ass I just, I, I, I just want to say like, okay, my, my only part in this is not trusting my gut. One, two, 
just going off and defending people without even knowing who they are. I, I shouldn't have done that to me. I feel like that was a dumb move on my part. And continuing to like forgive and like let go and not address certain situations with them because they would like victimize themselves. Like it would even be to the point where if like I would see them doing something problematic and that would affect our community, not just, you know, them. I would mm -hmm. say something to somebody else just because if I said something, they would spaz out and start screaming and cursing me out and like making it seem like I was attacking them. I'm just, I don't know. I'm honestly glad this is all out because they've done so much to me. Like going behind my back to like the Yukayeke, like anybody can vouch. I've never once gone to leadership about anything about anybody. Unless like I, when I started feeling attacked and people were telling me to go, I like initiated it. But then I backed off because I'm really not that type of person. I don't like to bring things, especially like TikTok arguments to like people that are like super busy and have better things to do with their life that are not even on the app especially if it's just a back and forth video like argument like to me i felt like that was super petty um the only thing that like really stressed me out and made me sick was the fact that i was continuing i even try to weaponize that like my my you know criminal history against me you know, so I couldn't connect to my own people. Like to me, that was like a very like insulting. Oh well, yeah, um, they don't so like me because I'm poor. And it's like, uh -huh. okay. Sorry. They just don't like me because I'm a very forward person. And I don't know if it comes with, I don't know. I, I just, I'm the type, like if I have something to say to you, I'm going to pull you to the side and talk to you about it. And You've some people don't that like way. that. And I don't, and I'm not even rude about it some of the times, but like when people are guilty of stuff, they try to reverse that on you and they get mad and they take it. Like, I understand people having emotions and they feel a certain type of way. But if I feel like something's bothering me, I'm going to have to, I can't go, I can't be cool with you and not tell you to how I feel. I feel fake. It makes me feel fake. Exactly. And that's if that's them calling me problematic then i guess i'm problematic you know but um i don't know i don't know i just have so many mixed feelings and i probably should have wrote down everything because i'm kind of all over Girl, the place. i did i was like let me make sure i stay on track because otherwise i'm gonna be talking in circles and everyone's gonna be like get to the fucking point <laughs> right right and i i don't know i guess like i was so nervous before this live because it's just this is like a lot of emotions for me because I did care about them like and there was times where I wouldn't even speak on things because I did care about them and I felt bad for them and I always saw them getting attacked and I'm like it's not even worth it is it even worth it and then I'm like I don't want to be petty you know what I'm saying and I'm doubling down on my emotions but like then they were going behind my back and talking so much shit about me and to me till this day I still don't understand why because I felt like I was pretty empathetic to the things that they were going through, and I always try to support them. That's how I saw it, unless they try me. People being artists for them, and like it, like has already been mentioned um, by more than one person on here. You know, they're very much, you know, place themselves in the position of a victim. You know, cry to you, play, you know, pull on your heartstrings, and a lot of the times they were treating us like they're personal attack dogs. Like this person's being mean to me. This person's calling me a pretending. This person's calling me the W slur and expecting you to just, you know what I mean? Jump up and rush to defend them. And they had so many people doing that because we know what that feels like. We've been attacked too. We, you know what I mean? And they, it was, it was just, like you said, it's a lot, but um, I'm yeah, gonna shut up. Also you. another thing that Humble said in that live the other day that I wanted to clear up she said that I doxed her personal information. She, that wasn't her information. She what was taking those clips off of Google and oh. she was sending it to Jojo and saying that it was hers. So for her to jump on online and claim that I doxed her because I was showing somebody that, you know, was saying that she's saying, you know, that she was a native. And I'm like, no, look, this is what they're saying that they are native and they showed proof. So like, I don't know, but I'm all over the place, so I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just emotional, okay. and this whole thing is, like, a lot for me. I didn't even know if I was going to come because my stomach was, like, all in twisties, and 
I don't know. I'll shut up. <laughs> No, I just want to speak real quick because I have my, my babies crying, but I just wanted to backpack real quick on um, what Nick said earlier. Um, I never once, and, and what um, Gigi said, I never, first of all, I've never attacked Danny or Humble. I never really had a sit down conversation like on a live or anything with Humble, like in depth. Like I knew it was more like Danny. So back in like the big, like I, I think I would say like July, we started like. <laughs> I, I opened my space for the reconnecting community and it wasn't like I was going to be the one to teach them how to reconnect because I don't know anything about that. I've always been connected to my culture, not trying to flex out on anyone, but it's just like I wanted to be respectful and offer a space to our relatives. Sorry. <laughs> for our relatives to so come cute. back home. Thank you. She's she's just ready to get out of this car. And at one point, I just remember Danny completely unfollowed me. And I think it was because of a falling out that I had with a, uh, and it wasn't even so much a falling out. I kind of like, I'm just the type of person that like, after a while, I kind of just ghost people. Like I'll just kind of cut communication off because as, you know, when things don't start to add up or it's too, like, it's too negative and you know what I mean? Like I just, I feed off the energy, so I didn't want to be a part of it. And so Sugar actually went to my cousin Victoria and messaged her and was like, oh, you know, Megan has been talking to me, you know what I mean? And then I just, and then she went on to say that like, because of that, she started like cutting, you know, herself. And, you know, to me, that's manipulation. Like you're like, I set a, a clear boundary that I didn't want anything to do with you. And then you ran and told people that I called CPS on you when you don't even have a kid. You don't even have a son. So who am I calling CPS on? And why am I wasting an agency that I cannot even stand to have them show up at your house? And, num and number two, I don't even know where you live. Like I've never had an issue like, and, and then she's continuing this narrative because even no. just recently she's messaging people one by one. I'm not a dangerous person to my community. I'm actually the daughter of a, of a hereditary chief. I come from a long line of, of, of chiefs in my family. Like, that's not what we do. Like, I come from like where they literally have fought for like the sovereignty for the land rights. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not that type of person. All I've ever done was give back to my community and they all they've ever done was what they did to Gigi and use her reaction to weapon person. But actually, Yes, I might react harshly to people when I'm backed into the corner, but like I should be able to defend myself. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that's what happened. I never, and, and with Danny, I never said or did anything wrong to her. Where there was even a time where we were gonna like, the girls in the group were gonna come together. Three girls, like me, myself and two other women were gonna come together and even fundraise to get her a, a support dog because she wanted a dog for support or something with her anxiety or something. Like I was very supportive to that girl. So for them to turn around and say that I was this dangerous person, you know, her slip and a bunch of others, and it all had stemmed from me calling out one pretendian, which I was right about. The indigidu, indigidu, whatever the girl, I don't even want to say her name, but anyways, that's all I want to say. Oh. And I am so sorry that like Gigi, like they said the same thing, like people warned me about you, you know what I mean? But it had a lot to do with people playing in the background, like Lady Rose in them. Lady but Rose I just does a lot behind you know. the scenes. Yes, she's, yes. She's, at least the twins, you know, they'll get up in the live and they'll, you know, they put their face to whatever the fuck they say. Lady Rose is a sneaky heifer. Uh, I mean, well, like, they have me thinking today. that you are anti-black, that you are Northern natives only and everybody else isn't, you know, no, indigenous. No. That, my husband's um, from DR. Like my, my first born is I like her dad's from Puerto Rico. You know what I mean? Like, and that's another thing too. Okay, familia. That I was with a white man. And apparently my kids were white. I was like pro-white. And it's like, no, 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 no. Not, I'm not that person at all. Yeah, they, they definitely. But I'm not like pro, like I've honestly, like, I don't know. Never. Yeah. And I never flex being better than anyone. The only time that you'll ever see is when I was react. The only things, the only receipts that they have are my reaction to their disrespect. Like Lady Rose tried to pull that slip tactic on me today where she messaged me and then immediately unsent everything after I listened to it. But I was like, I'm at the screenshot at the time. 
You're like, oh, I, I know, I know, I figured you out, girl. Like, yep. <laughs> I know this pattern already, and it, it's not working anymore. And I'm, and, and you know, what? at this point, I don't even care what's being said. But I don't support um, any pedos like she does, and I don't go out. And Ooh. you know what I mean? I don't go out doxing people. The only people that I've ever put out there were people that I felt were like what I was lied or misled to believe that they were predators, men, not women. I ne I don't, I don't do that to women. Yeah. Yeah, they, anyways, they definitely I, light on a lot of people. But I lot. appreciate you for having me up here. And thank you for unblocking me. I promise I've never had any ill intent towards any of you. And I hope you all have a good night. But like I've been traveling for so long and I'm going to get my, my children to bed. So you all have a good night. And I hope we can have a discussion like off the app one day just to kind of put the puzzle yeah. pieces together. That would be that would be great, actually. Yeah. So I'd be down for that, but thank you again. And you all have a good night. And thank you, Gigi and Justin and Chris. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Thank you know, First of all, I want to say thank you for this live and on receipts. I appreciate that. I've always had respect and mad love for all your content. Um, you. Like you, I'm part of Hiwayagua. So is Justin and a couple of other members. Now, I'm also counsel of a nonprofit organization. And like you said, Friar, this doesn't only affect the people here in your life, but it affects others. Now, as far as us, uh, the organization, we're getting affected because of what's going on with that drama, whether it's through our members, people we've helped, people who we're about to help. And for Justin, I, I just got to tell I call just my little brother, always called my little brother. Um, he, just, to the face, uh, just to let you know, just from the organization, you have over 100 brothers, sisters, and two-spirit that will always have you back no matter what. So when Justin's name got brought into this drama, I'm speaking as an individual, not part of the organization. I got to set that straight. It hit me hard because I'm like, well, hold on, Justin's like the most humble person i know you know what i'm saying for somebody to speak all about him it affected me a lot i'm like no how are you gonna talk about my little brother like that and you know it's just it's just crazy like how not only here but how it also affects other entities outside because we're getting like i said we're getting affected because of the people, our members got to be involved with this um you know the people we've helped got to be involved with this drama and the people we're about to help got to be involved with this drama i mean us as a non-profit organization where we don't get into the social media drama and uh, most of the people here would know that um but that's just just us but on a personal basis you mess with my little brother you, you mess with the wrong person you know what i'm saying you you got to some my organization organization you have over 100 members that have his back regardless Regardless of fact, not including Higuayagua and oh, other okay. tribes. It's even more than that. <laughs> exactly, not including Higuayagua and and amongst the other tribes that he gets along with. You know, it's just it's just too much with, with the nonsense that's going on. But I thank you once again for allowing me to speak and um, for yes. for your life. I appreciate. it. Thank you. Thank you for coming up to speak, especially for, you know, defending Justin and everything, because for anyone who doesn't know, Justin's like the least problematic freaking person on TikTok. Like, I, throwing him in the mix is like, okay, now you're really telling on yourself. Like, people who didn't see the bullshit before, yeah, like, you just dig in the hole deeper and deeper, but I'm gonna shut up because I know Kay's been waiting for for a good minute to talk so <laughs> it's okay i'm trying to even remember if i have all my thoughts um compiled in my brain um uh, can you guys hear me okay because i have my airpods on and then logan is in and out of singing to the ancestors um so um kind of what i wanted to talk about is um uh, i wanted to like address some of the other things that people were saying and just talking about um their pursuit i mentioned it in the comments but specifically with the twins their pursuit of spirituality 
and wanting to teach spirituality and consistently and I sat for a long time deciding if I wanted to say anything but um Taino do we use are we using your name or are we just calling you Taino Library so oh, can, every, like, everyone knows my name is Elba you're good I just want I couldn't remember so Elba knows Thank that you for asking. <laughs> Elba knows that uh there there's been a lot of back and forth things that are private um like on our on our private page that's not open to the public conversations that I've had back and forth um about things and how they wanted to approach it and just the consistent entitlement that came with their desire or assumption that they themselves are spiritual people. We are all spiritual beings having a human experience. We all carry medicine in a variety of ways, but just because you carry medicine does not mean you are a healer. People who walk a healing path do not walk the way that they walk. And there are other outside of them. There are lots of people across indigenous communities but heavily in Taino community that I can talk about that Elba can talk about that they have this title of Behika but they are not actively living or an embodiment of what it means to be a Behika and so you're watching people who are weaponizing their their trauma weaponizing um, other people's trauma and manipulating and doing all of these things and that's not how you walk a healing path part of the work of being a medicine carrier of being a healer being a behika is really to help the people come home to help them find home and understanding that your spirituality is such a deep deep part of your indigenous identity and knowing that they were not engaging in the work of doing that and understanding that but only chasing the clout of the title because they wanted that in order to monetize what they figured was taino spirituality they wanted to monetize and sell spirituality they wanted to monetize and sell taino identity and they are the reason that i honestly stopped posting content and it's long conversations that I've had with Alba and Inaru Art, who consistently encourage me to put things out to help people on their journey to talk about spirituality, not necessarily things that are in a closed manner, but just knowledge and to help people. And it for a long time has been a real struggle because the conversation that I had very much was like they are the reason that I won't post anything because I don't want to anything I say and run off with it and monetize it or take it and use it to try to heal someone when they don't have that capacity to do that or or do something else that ends up in much harm and I don't want to be or feel responsible for that in some way because they refuse to sit and listen they would have conversations and want to take classes. How do I take a class to become a Bahika? How long do I have to study to do this? How do I, the Elba's face. They I kept mean, these... asking it in a live, like I have a recording of it and I kept saying that is that is not how you become a Bahika. The people choose you, you are, mm -hmm. you, you know, you are asked, you know, are, mm -hmm. are you, are you ready to be a healer? Are you ready to take on this responsibility? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to commit to what it really means? You know, you don't just, like you said, take a class or wake up one day and it's like, okay, I'm a Bahika now. <laughs> like, and that know. was something that they would get mad at me for is because they would post things that like I felt like was like not appropriate. And I would ask them why they did that. And they would like take it as me attacking them mm -hmm. and freak out and like block me for like a day or two and then unblock me and we would talk it out. But like, it was stuff like that too yeah and it's really it's really harmful it's really problematic it's it, it's dangerous you know it's dangerous when you don't have the capacity when you're not in an apprenticeship with somebody learning how to talk to and deal with and guide people through things how to handle it and you're like i'm doing therapy even though i'm not qualified and i didn't do like an apprenticeship like even people who do pastoral therapy you know they, they're they're in apprenticeships they're going to like seminary school they're talking about 
how to do this, how to deal with people. And it's like making a mockery of the work that I do. And by proximity, you know, the work that like Chris does. It, it's making a joke and making light of the very real things that I go through anytime I do anything for anybody. And that's something that really, really needs to stop like across indigenous communities and really in the Taino community. Your Bejiques are warriors. You just don't think that they are because you, you don't see us, you know, theoretically run. You can't see me have my camera off because I look psychotic right now, but like I'm no, air quotes. Um, you know, your, your, your medicine people are often your first line of defense to everything because we see what's coming before the warrior would see it with their eyes, you know, and it is very much a very hard thing to be in a space where an Elba knows my story and the things not only that I've been through, but the things I've done for people and the things that I have had to put up with in the very long journey to rightfully have my title. Um, yeah. And, you know, the things that I have gone through and a lot of people who do this type of work will tell you that, you know, everyone thinks it's like glitz and glam and it's cool and everybody wants to whatever. You don't know the sacrifice that comes that comes with it. Literally consistently giving of yourself to heal other people literally taking from yourself the literal physical ailments that i will suffer after i do a working on someone or try to do something or cleanse someone or something or do um whatever it's very real this is not a game this is not a game at all and um it's just sad it's really it makes me very sad that people come in and they want to connect reconnect and you know, misinformation and people who are just loud and wrong, who are just loud in general, and that's what people pay attention to. And someone like me, who's just like, I want nothing to do with that. I'm gonna hide in my corner. I'm gonna stay over here, and I'm afraid to put anything out there because I don't want them to run off with it. Because part of it is from my own knowledge, my own my own experience, my own stuff. And for them to then run off and monetize it and or use it incorrectly or harm somebody, you know, like that's just not, it's not a good space to be in. And I, it's not good and healthy for anybody who's connected with them through this app or who they've tried to do readings for or quote unquote therapy or like healing or this, this and that because there's nothing that they have to to draw from to heal. When you, we, we are all consistently healing. We are, should all be consistently doing the work of healing and growing and on um, the journey, right? But mm -hmm. you, I'm I'm consistently healing. I'm not healed. That's that, that's impossible because we are still experiencing life. We are still going through all of these things. We have so much intergenerational trauma, so much trauma we've carried with us through our lives and still experiencing things. It's not magically going to disappear one day, but it's about being aware and understanding and finding ways to do the most, provide the most benefit and do the least harm. Right. And like that, that should always be your goal. And clearly that's not their intention. And there's a lot of other things that I won't necessarily talk about that Elba did touch on in her video. Um, but just as a general warning, and I know Elba gives this warning all the time, y'all really got to be careful who you get spiritual information from and what they're teaching and what they're promoting and how they're trying to do it. For personal gain because there are people out here who will tell you to your face things to do that really it's not anything to benefit you you're doing something to allow them to draw from you and you always have to be mindful of these things and it sucks that we are in a space where you can't take someone at face value because you don't know what their intentions are, where their their mind really is, but 
you know, I just, I feel really bad sitting here listening to everyone who has suffered so much pain and, and heartache. And I don't even have all the words for it at the hands of, you know, these people because it just inflicts more damage and more harm and more trauma to a community that is consistently trying to undo over 500 years of being ignored and being silenced and um the trauma and the pain and even us who like have stories within our family of being told to never talk about who we were or not having that passed down because they wanted to be safe they wanted to be alive you know lying on census reports where we could because they were lighter skinned because they had, you know, DNA that was forcibly put in their line. So, you know, so many of those things and then just to continue on and perpetuate this and just do more harm to a community that has experienced so much. And it just, it makes me very sad. It makes me very sad. Lateral violence, essentially, that um, they were distributing to you know, like to Gigi, the stuff that they've put Elba through, to everybody who's been up here and talked about the things that they've done to, like, that's not, that's not how you caretake. That is not how you help people heal. That is not how you help people find their way home. And so while it's not my place to apologize for the things that they've done, I do feel sorry. And I do feel bad because that's not the experience that anyone should have on their journey of reconnecting or thinking or someone, you know, promoting themselves as a spiritual person. Um, I guess that's it. And then I don't know if there was, I don't know, I wasn't looking at the comments or whatever, if there was anything anyone else wanted to say, or I don't know if I should address the other thing because that came up in a very different kind of space. The other thing you mentioned in your video uh, related to them and spirituality bro and attachment oh, when and i was talking about doors yeah. being opened without knowing how to close yeah. them yeah i mean it just to your point and and just to kind of like drive the point home we've seen and heard a lot of people essentially saying the same thing and and that is why you know, Kay and other people are very careful about what they do share on this app. That's why I don't talk about spirituality at all. Um, it's it's because with when it comes to um, identity, when it comes to educating, when it comes to healing, when it comes to DNA tests, they literally steal from other people and then present that as if it came from them. And that is very problematic. It's disingenuous yeah. at best and incredibly harmful. There's somebody in here talking about how her literal trauma was monetized. Because if anyone's going to make money off her trauma, it should be her. Like mm. they, um, <clears throat> they, they were doing that to me and JoJo too, though. Like they would, me and JoJo would talk about like things that we had planned on doing in the future, like just collaborations. Like at one point, we wanted to make just like uh, spread awareness and, you know, we wanted to do it where like we held lives and me and Jojo would talk to people that were in certain groups of like, um, you know, tribes or something like that and just, you know, get, ask them questions and so that people can learn or whatever. And then next thing you know, um, Monique and Danny would be like, oh, well, we're, we're, we got a project too. And then like, you know, when our project didn't work out, we started talking about doing a podcast. And next thing you know, all three of them were doing a podcast. And it was like, at one point we started kind of just like holding back any ideas that we had because if we said something next, thing you know, they were doing it too. Um, like we ended up opening up a, a group on Snapchat and then Monique opened up a unity group on Discord. Like it was just always like, kind of felt like a competition or something and she was they were always trying to one-up you and anything yeah. you wanted to do because anything that they put and, and that's part of like yeah what i'm talking about that anything that you could do that was being perceived as good or like very genuine and you know it wasn't about you gaining anything you just genuine genuinely wanted to like have 
community start to build community for yourself they had to one up and like uh in the comments talking about jealousy i mean like that's part of it but really looking at it from like a different perspective from a healing perspective it's just the amount of you know the amount of pain the amount of pain that's there and that's really seated trauma it's not even just so much jealousy there's really deep deep seated trauma there and um you know they thought that they were going to do something and get accepted and have a sob story and be the center of attention and then when they couldn't maintain being the center of attention it's very much like grabbing at everything and a desperate attempt not to lose that space right not to lose the attention that they had not to lose the good favor they figured that they built but all in all the while harming and burning anybody who came too close to them because you know, they just use and anybody and everybody who was who was around them very, very clearly, you know, and that that has a lot to do with why, like I said, all the notes that I was watching everything and I was like, I don't want any part of this. I absolutely want no part of this because I don't want to be in, put in a position where I have to respond in a way that I may not want to respond. Right. Um, so yeah and that's the thing is they put a lot of people in harm's way for their own personal gain you know um they they weaponized pretty much our entire community on this mm -hmm. app you know like i said treating us like attack dogs and stuff like that um they did not for a, they didn't have a second thought about putting me you know as somebody who is a member of leadership in the middle of their drama and having me sit down in spaces with people who have been deemed dangerous or otherwise problematic you know like you don't you don't do that to to your leadership put them in harm's way like that granted you know i i made my choice you know because i wanted to help them and i feel like that's why they were able to get away with what they've been doing they were able to like pinpoint who's got a big heart mm -hmm. and then just completely you know what exploit, i mean exploit everything exploit. yeah yeah that's a good word that's i was trying to think of a word but that that yeah that one it just exploit people's kindness and stuff like that and then of course when you decide i'm not going to be taken advantage anymore like pure narcissistic like like a pure narcissist you know not saying that they are I'm just saying that narcissists behave this way in where once you stop allowing them to take, they treat you like you're the asshole. You're the problematic one. You're the one, you know, you're the one who's attacking people. You're the one who's being mean. You're the one who's problematic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's right. Very telling, especially with how many people they, you know, lather, rinse, repeat. Mm -hmm. right. They find a group, they, they find one or two people, buddy, buddy cozy up to them, say all the things they think you want to hear, you know, um, regardless of whether or not their actions match what they say, um, use and abuse you. And then as soon as you're no longer, as soon as you no longer have anything more to offer them, mm -hmm. you're discarded like yesterday's trash. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. irony is that they want to say that everybody else is doing that to them, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, okay, one person, right, maybe they are two people, okay, three people, four people, a whole handful of people, at this point, you're the common denominator. So it's really mm -hmm. hard for you to continue to play the victim and act as though everybody else is the problem. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, and you got, and like, I don't know if they're just underestimating everyone's intelligence or overestimating their own, but like a lot of the shit that they've been doing, you know, it's like, Come on. Right, because I honestly even feel like it, even like the problems I had with LJ was rooted with him about me. You know what I mean? I think that he's a grown man that can make his own decisions and needs to stop using the fact that he's younger to get out of the shit that he puts himself in. No, but I'm saying like the core of like what me and him starting like having like problems like because me and him have argued before because he would like accuse me of bullying them. Like because one time Monique was oh. in um, she was in a comment section and she was telling people she was connected. 
And I'm like, yeah. why are you? And see, these are protocols that they were breaking. They were missed. Mm -hmm. They were saying that they're connected. They're saying they're part of our community. You know, mm -hmm. Rose is out here talking about she's an elder. Oh, you know, that's a whole other thing. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. And that's the thing, too, is like because of the nature of this app, a lot of us kept things to ourselves and we're like, you know what? People are going to find out, you know, people are going to catch on, whatever, whatever. And they, you know, I, they took advantage of that. They took advantage of the fact that we didn't want to see any harm come their way. Um, and it's just that's why I said I went back and forth about whether or not he was going to make that video that I made and, you know host alive and and do all the things that we're doing now um because i know like the nature of this app and people were already attacking them you know and i'm sure they're going to accuse me of you know being the reason that they're going through all this stuff or whatever it's like y'all stay in drama because y'all stay chasing clout because y'all keep wanting to insert yourself in spaces that you know you don't belong in you know and and i feel like a lot of what they're doing, like like you said, Kay, has a lot to do with deep-seated trauma. I know that there are a lot of Black and Indigenous people um, who get told things like, oh, go back to where you came from. So I feel like, you know, there's this romanticism, there's this exoticism that comes with um, wanting to claim indigeneity if you don't have it, um, either because you feel like it makes you seem more interesting, exotic or whatever, or because you feel like it'll put you higher up on the racial hierarchy or or you feel like okay well you can't tell me to go back where i came from if i'm native american and i'm from here i belong here um and at the end of the day i really do feel like it's about wanting that sense of belonging of feeling like you have your people because we all want that uh -huh. you know um but you you can't be mad at people for pushing you away after they find out that you've been lying to them uh -huh. You know, and you can't be surprised that they don't come to you and ask for ask you, you know, for your side of the story when you've proven over and over and over and over again, anything that comes out of your mouth is going to be a lie. Mm -hmm. And I just the other thing that like, I don't know, I feel very called to say this is that your ancestors see everything, everybody's ancestors see everything you have your personal ancestors that you're related to you have the old people that are like the old people of like community and then you have like i'm gonna say for us we put our seminole in a separate category like primordial spirits everybody sees everything whether or not like you're you really think that they're out here running all this stuff doing all this stuff and something's not gonna come back to bite them because if it's not today and it's not tomorrow, it's going to happen. And that's why you all need, everyone needs to be careful about like where you direct your intentions, where you direct your energy, like how you carry yourself, how you walk. Because if you look at, there are people who like have just a bunch of stuff happen to them and it seems like they never catch a break or things will be going really good and then all of a sudden it's all like it's all taken away and it's not it's not by accident because they're gonna get their lesson one way or another because you can't be running around out here claiming to be somebody you're not causing harm to that community infiltrating and being around and then wanting to say that you're like some type of spiritual person and messing around with stuff or whatever, don't do that. Do not mess with things that you have no idea what they are because they will come back to bite you. And that's the thing, like if you if you open yourself up because you're wanting to do a spiritual working or whatever and you don't know what you're doing and, you know, intention isn't everything, but it's a hell of a lot, you know. Um, how do I put let me just put it, I guess, in the simplest forms is, you know, you will attract things that you don't want. Mm -hmm. And you will have experiences that are manifest in a physical way. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, and that is because you are you are drawing things to you unknowingly, never the and that's and that's, you know, to case point, oh sorry. To water vixens point. You're fine. 
I fucked up. I said your name earlier too. That's my bad. No, you're you're fine. Because I think I said it in my videos anyway. It's fine. But um, you know, to your point, if you don't know what you're doing, not only could you you know harm others, but you're you're gonna end up hurting yourself. Because mm -hmm. you know, and I say I say it in that order because you know some people have have shown to be pretty fucking uh, selfish, so they might not care about others as much as their their own well being. So yeah yeah when you, you lower your vibrational force and that attracts lower vibrational beings and on and on and on it goes see that's why i don't be doing stuff i'm just like hey Bahike, you wanna you wanna <laughs> trial because i'm like look i i'm i be getting angry and stuff you know i know people think like I've had more than one person accuse me of like, oh, she pretends she's nice. No, the fuck I don't. I behave on, on social media because, you know, A, title and B, community guidelines violations. But like anybody who's spoken to me off of this app knows that, you know what I mean? Like I'm an asshole. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm not. You know, there's plenty of, I don't feel the need to tell everyone that I disagree with that I disagree with them, but like, if for whatever reason I I feel the you know need or whatever to do so, then then I will address that person, you know, message them or whatever, and do it privately. You know, um, the only reason that this is even happening so publicly is because they've been so loud about their lies and they've done so much publicly. And they had our Yukayekas, you know, not just my name and Gigi's name and so many other Tango people's names in their mouths. But then they wanted to drag our Yukayeke's name into the shit. And I was like, hasta aquí llegaste. We're not gonna, we're not gonna keep going. Like, and now I'm finding out that there's a ridiculous amount of people that they have harmed. Like more than I than I had any mm -hmm. I could have ever <laughs> imagined. But here we are. It is what it's it just, is. Just very sad. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who's in the guest box. Oh, oh shoot. Hi. My bad. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know how long you were in there. No, no. I I I, I took my uh, I was in my in the hospital. She just had minor surgery. Um, but I, I heard the spirituality talk and I wanted to emphasize something that was very important from the from the um from the African perspective. Um y'all people come on here uh, it's not even just the pretendian thing, but they come on here you know, playing up this this fake spirituality. And this happens across the diaspora. It's not just people pretending to be us. And what they don't know is that sometimes when you when you do when you try to do work that you're not ready to be uh, uh, doing, um, you can access things that seem very miraculous to you, right? Like, like, even things good things are happening. You're thinking, okay, everything is good. And then this shit ends up backfiring on you because you are not ready. Um, y'all, y'all are sitting here trying to access orishas. You're sitting here trying to access seminos. Like, like you don't, you, you, you're trying to access shit that you don't know anything about, and you don't even try to access your own immediate ancestors first, which is what you should be doing. So, like, I, I, I came on here for that because it's a, it's a lot of people playing up this, like, you know, voodoo, you know, uh, mysticism. I'm doing all this kind of stuff. I'm a, but what's the other lady? She said she's a white witch or some, some shit. She called our belief systems black magic. Like, y'all oh, no. play too much um, with this shit. And I'm Hello. telling you, it should, yeah, it was a, some white lady that said that she's like a white witch or some shit. And she's the most powerful witch on whatever. The point is, is like, 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 stop playing with shit that's going to backfire on your ass. And I'm going to say that now. I'm not, I'm not um, initiated into any practice that is by choice. Um, but I have, I have, um, Santeros in my family that have made Ocha. I have, I have, my, my brother is an issue. This stuff has been part of my life, my, part of me and part of my family for my entire life. And even they don't, they don't tell me shit. Like there are certain things that they don't share to me. Right. Even though we're family. So like y'all play too much um and, and this is to pretendians too like y'all think that you know shit but you don't know a goddamn thing 
And so, like, please stop that. And that's all I wanted to say about that part because I, 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 I'm glad that y'all put that out there because it is true that this is happening a lot too. And it's a part of that appropriating culture where people just want to be this, like, character on TikTok. And that's mm -hmm. not what that shit is about. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's there's a pursuit of power more so than than anything else, you know? And I feel like there are certain things that I don't say on this app on purpose because I feel like people are learning how to fake better from those of us who are taking the time to educate, you know? So there are spiritual things that I know, but A, I'm not a Bejique, and B, like, I don't want y'all to, 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 you know, um, not you guys, but like the people who are, who are, um, you know, misrepresenting or appropriating or whatever. Like, I don't want y'all to know how to better hide that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like there are certain things uh -huh. when it comes to our Semino and our African ancestors, you know, depending on which region of Africa your ancestors descend from that, like anybody that's in that practice, as soon as they see you doing or saying whatever, they're just like, carajo that you're from this part of the, you know, that you're part of this, you know, spiritual lineage or whatever it is that you're claiming. And, you know, not just spiritually, but um, in, a, in a mundane sense, like you said, figure out who your ancestors are. You know, even if you don't know their names per se, you know, there, there's ways to talk to people. Um, figure out who, who they are, connect with them. And um, that's where you should start, period, point blank. And before you start making claims to be this, that, or whatever, know who your, who your ancestors are, who your people are, what culture, you know, start doing all of that. Getting, just finding out you have a 23 and me, you know, whatever percentage or whatever, and then being like, oh, I'm a reconnecting native now. And I, and by virtue of being indigenous, that means that I can smudge and I can do this and I can do that. All the doors are open to me now. And it's like, that's, that's not how that works. Even people within the community only have access to so much. There are things Kay knows that I will never know because I'm not a Bejique. And I'm not sitting here stopping my feet like, well, I'm Taino, you gotta tell me. You know, that's, that's, that's entitlement. Specifically, YT American entitlement, and I'm telling y'all, there's a reason why. You know, I'm not saying it's okay, but there's a reason why people back home side eye the diaspora the way that they do, uh -huh. because, and, and call folks Americanized and shit like that. Because some folks really be on some Gringo Nation type shit, and and then wonder why people are like, "You're not one of us," because you're acting uh -huh. like a whole, you know, WW. Are you still alive over there, Justin? I'm just wondering. He's that been a little quiet. Fact. That's definitely a fact that you said that. I'm glad that you did. You mentioned that having ancestors, or, or or having ancestry, or even being connected to some aspect does not give you access to 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 the secrets. It does not give you access to the room, and and a lot of people do take that privilege where they just assume that they have they can I just have it all because I have the ancestors mm -hmm. for that. It's like that's not how that that's not how it works. There's even people that are allowed into the room that are not direct. I can't speak for, for Diana spirituality, but for African spirituality, there's people that do not have the ancestry per se, but they are they are allowed because they put in the work and, and because they do their readings and they do what they need to do to 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 find out that that is part of their journey. Um, and it, and close practices are close for a reason and they're close to even us, the people who are who have the lineage, because it's not for everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. And people need to understand yeah. that. Yeah. And if you can't follow everyday protocol for a community, why the hell would anybody want to teach you spirituality? Because you're just mm -hmm. showing that you're not going to respect it. You're not going to follow the protocols. That makes you dangerous. And I mean, to the point you made earlier, um, you know, and that goes for being an elder, that goes for being a Tequina, that goes for being a Bejica, for any of these things. The community chooses you. 
because you will look at who people go to, who are people going to get knowledge from, who do people recognize and see who is knowledgeable in whatever fashion it is that they are, you know, like Elba will fight this all day, every day, but I'm always like, Elba should be like a Takina outside of that, that I feel like Elba is an elder because of how she carries herself and what she does. And she'll deny it all day, every day. She doesn't want to hear it, but you know, to that point, it's the people I around her. The people on yet. I feel I like, girl, I feel like bye. I have more it's the people who, you know who what I mean? go to her. And, and so for me, because Elba knows my journey and knows how much of that in the beginning, I was like, nah, nah, like this is, this is not even, even now. Right, that there will be Elba. Well, I mean, without telling you, so Elba's been part of conversations, and I'll know something or something will come up. And someone says, well, How did you know? And I was like, I stay surprising myself every day, too. I ask myself the same thing. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't, like, you know, bitch, you know. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> and like, like, you know, I'm making a joke about it, but it, it's to that point, right? That there, that there's a difference in that, or like, you know. It's I didn't get here because I walked into the community talking about who my family was and experiences that I had and all of that stuff. Like those things came up at some point in time, right? But I I got here because of the fact that people saw that people sought me out. And this is not about me like trying to like to my own horn or make a whole thing or whatever. I'm I'm trying to just give you know, give the explanation of like, no one should be a self-proclaimed elder. It is the community who like sees you and and wants to be in this way. You should not be like a self-proclaimed anything. And it is, it's, it's, it's work and it's giving of yourself into the community and all of that. And the community recognizes that. And there was that really beautiful video that I think Elba, you did make a video on. And I cannot remember what nation the person was from. Oh, she's Seneca. Seneca. Ironically. Is she Seneca, right? The, the Longhouse? Is that the Longhouse video I'm talking about? Yes. That I was going to do the project, and then I don't know what happened to it, and I went to go look up the person. Yes, that video. That is, is somewhere on an Elba's um, post. She shared that video and is so eloquently said, and I remember crying when I heard the person speak about it, that she was a medicine carrier and talking about how she came to be a medicine carrier for her people. And she was like, well, I didn't choose this. The people chose me to do this. The ancestors chose this because everyone kept like coming and seeking or whatever. And then they said, are you ready now? Are you ready now? And that that is very much how uh, very similar to kind of how I I came to be that I was doing a lot of things and people were coming to me and then there was a conversation are you ready for people to know and you know <clears throat> it's 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 very different be- and that that's how it should be you can't just walk into a room and anoint yourself like the the next coming of Christ basically and and you know you're that and you you're you're doing all the things because you can think you have all the medicine in the world you can actually have medicine but you know part of i know i feel like i'm talking in circles and i i may not be making full sense to everyone because you know neurodivergent brain doing its own little dance but (laughs) the um i feel you (laughs) Uh, entities, part of what Oshun was saying is that there are entities that are, that are like tricksters. Some of them are just not tricks and not tricksters in general. They just, they, they're lower vibrating beings and they will suck up that light that that's being given. And so they'll pretend to be Peter, Paul, Mary, your cousin, Johnny, this one, that one, and the third, they'll pretend to be anybody just to get you to pay attention to them. And if you're not doing the work and learning discernment and learning um, all of the things you need to learn to figure out what works best for you and navigating those situations, because they can be navigated in many different ways, um, you're liable to put yourself in danger and have things attached to you. And then those things stay because Mm -hmm. 
you don't there's something else and you drag everyone else through that with you you drag everyone else now and expose them to this thing and it's just absorbing it all up eating it all up and just either getting stronger or just getting more planted in, in the space that it's in because you've allowed that to happen because you thought it was something else that it wasn't because you thought you knew everything so that's right. telling i feel like it's very entitled to just I don't know, eat, like, like you said, even if you, you know, you have medicine to just be like, well, I know I have medicine, so I'm a Mexican now, you know, I feel like people who actually respect, you know, the cultures and practices and whatnot that they're either um, connecting to or trying to connect to, um, you know, once, once you learn enough, you're like, oh, wait, this, there's a lot more then I realize, let me take a step back and mm -hmm. get my shit together before, you know what I mean? Before yeah, I fuck yeah. myself up, you know, for lack the of a better answer. The audacity that people have, Dino Library and Water Vixen, the audacity that people have to think that they are a, an authority on some shit, right? Mm -hmm. Because they because they read a book somewhere that's on the internet or because they, whatever. I'm gonna okay, drop y'all. Like a certain someone. Oh, child, let me start it with uh, Ryan. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop, I just wanted to, to add to that. And, you know, um, like with titles like Auntie, like if in any the Afro diaspora community, that shit is given to you. You are not an auntie because you because you claim to be or because you think you are because you're so entitled to thinking you are people start calling you that because they see what you do for the community that's that's not even on a spiritual level that's on a physical real level but because you're not an auntie until you until you behave like an auntie not so i just want to say i support y'all i'm listening in the comments i gotta take my my auntie my actual titi back back home um, but I'm listening and I support everyone up here. Y'all go ahead and keep doing your thing. Um, okay. Drive safe. Is that everyone? You're cutting out a little bit. Um, can you hear me a little better now? Or am I still cutting out? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can I can hear you now. Okay. So some of you in here do know me. I know Justin knows me. Um, I think you know me as well, Titan Library. You've or you've heard of me. I'm Coffee Bean. Um, Ocean Rap actually knows me. We're really close. And um my one of um my cousin she was just up here um she's just part of uh, my native community she was up here as well she knows me um i am a reconnecting native myself i am afro indigenous i've been reconnecting for about three years and i'm so astonished by learning this i just saw your video yesterday Taino library and i i uh i was really close with monique and danielle and caribbean Cro caribbean crossfire is that her name um lady yeah, rose caribbean I crossfire that, I yeah, I thought that they were of what they said that they were. And um, it's crazy, I guess, now to even hear this because um, I'm like, well, I definitely know Taino Library would not lie. <laughs> She's not gonna lie about something like that. And there was a lot going on in that time when I saw your whole video in 2021 up until now. I didn't know about that situation, but I just know there was a lot going on. There were certain people targeted, but I'm a type of person where I don't get into that drama. I just don't because as an Afro-Indigenous person myself, who is triracial, I get targeted a lot myself. People think I'm lying, people think I'm a pretendian, but I have done the work and you can ask a lot of people and I'm still doing the work. And there have been a lot of times where, yeah, I've messed up and I've had to apologize because as a Reconnect Native, you're going to have mistakes made. But as long as you learn from those mistakes and you listen to the community, you listen to the elders, it's fine. You don't make But I've been on the journey for about three years and um, I'm, my mother is who is indigenous. Um, and um, all I know right now is that I have a mixture of Southern and Northern blood and that is it. Um, I've known this since I was a baby, since I was young. I just didn't know exactly where it went until I got deeper into documentation, pictures, asking family, uh, talking to them. And that's where I started kind of doing my journey on TikTok even more um, to where people could follow that. Um, it really, does and as a reconnect native uh, that's doing it the right way it really does take a lot of work and especially getting into spiritual things that you do not know about which i've never done i mean i have spiritual people in my family and that doesn't run in my bloodline to be spiritual and do those things which i do you can't just do it 
And I tell everybody this, especially people who aren't Native, that if you're going to tap into anything, whatever culture that may be, you need to be careful because if you don't know what that is, you should not be touching that. And you should not be meddling within that because you are, I mean, you're going to get what you deserve. And it's not a game. Even being spiritual comes with a lot. It, it's not all rainbows and roses and fun. It comes with some hard stuff. And, you know, when you're, when you're trying to claim something that you're not, again, as everybody has stated, that comes with consequences especially if you were as loud as Monique and Danielle were. And personally, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with, with, with them because I've, I've known them for so long. I'm trying to figure out how to confront them about it, how to ask them about it, because I just want them to be honest with me and not lie to me. Does that make sense? Because Yeah, and I mean, not, not to be a naysayer, but so many people have been like, okay, what's really going on? Tell us the truth. Every opportunity they've chosen to just add more lies to the mix. And it's like, okay, well, if you're trying to reconnect to a community and you can't even be honest with them, like, you're not going to be honest with anybody. Even after I made my video, people have told me that they tried to confront them and, and say, hey, you know, will you show me your DNA test? Like, show, show me that they're wrong and they cannot produce anything like um what's the word i'm looking for like just irrefutable proof you know what i'm saying but um let me shut up now because i cut you off no you're fine um but like danielle recently not yes danielle recently messaged me i didn't respond to her but she said oh i'm being um people are trying to paint me out to be a pretendian you know so i'm stepping away i didn't respond to her because I, I i need to get information on this because for the longest time they again they've been very loud about it and i did message justin i think justin's in i i don't have my glasses on sad me i can't I think really he fell it. asleep on us to be honest uh, he, he's <laughs> actually in here yeah um, he's in the box he's in the I box think <laughs> I, I think you fell asleep on us or something <laughs> But um, me and Justin are very close, um, and um, I talked to him about it. He hasn't gotten back to me on it yet, which he was at work. But I asked him. I said, "You know what's going on? Because um, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. I just just happened to, you know." And I said, "You know, they. It was just like, wow. Like really, they, 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 they were lying this whole time. Like." I posted my DNA results up here. Everyone knows my ancestry, so I I don't I don't I, I don't even prove that oh, anymore. Watermark it, you watermark know? that shit. Actually, there was a genealogist that recommended that I say that I say um, if you do opt to share your genealogy, put a watermark on that bitch so people can't steal it. Okay. Because, like I said, they're they're they're. They've been asking people for their GED match, offering to do people's genealogy for them. They, they don't, they've proven that they don't understand genealogy themselves. So that just, you know, is, is sus. It's like, okay, well then why are you offering to do people's genealogy if you don't even, you can't do your own genealogy and you're asking other people for help and you don't understand really what's going on. How are you gonna help others unless it's for the sole purpose of stealing their DNA to, to pass off as your own. I don't, I don't know that that's exactly the case, but I mean, considering everything else, it's like, that would be a logical conclusion. And I, I probably will have to watermark that because I also put my mom's results up here too, to show like, you know, hers and like what I got from her and everything. Um, and it's sad for me as an Afro-Indigenous person to see a lot of Afro-Indigenous people that I looked up to coming out as they're not. Um, because even though there's, even though I am chosen by the community, I have been, um, it's, it's hard. It makes it harder for me, for people who don't know me, um, exactly. to, you know, so it makes it me have to fight even more for not, not necessarily acceptance, but to just prove that like, I have a community from all different, all different tribes, like in terms of there's so many people within the indigenous community who know me, have chosen me as my identity, because I haven't just proven with DNA tests 
but I've proven with pictures, I've proven with documentation, I've proven with my mother, the indigenous one speaking. I've proved on, on who she is and who we are as a family. I've proven so much. And um, I've done the work, like I, I, I'm i still doing the work, but I've really done the work for three years. It's been a beautiful turnout, um, but it's just people really have to do the work. It's not just about, you know, you know, being having the blood that like there's people who are maybe 75% indigenous, but can't be considered indigenous because they don't know anything. And it's sad, but they don't know anything. And it's like going back to the YT nation. They want that. They don't want to learn about who they are. Um, so it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it really goes so much deeper than what people think. And, you know, um, as an African person, I was like, I have to get on here and talk because I agree with everything that's being said, but I wanted to just really speak on like how important it really is to like know what you're doing, uh, know how to do it and to not offend because being a reconnected native, you're going to make, like I keep saying, you're going to make mistakes. I made a couple, but I got up, I said, I apologized and I fixed it. And I didn't make a lot of mistakes, honestly. I made like a couple, but still they're mistakes and it's part of the journey. Like you're, you can't, for someone who 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 grew up in it, for someone who um, may be an elder, for someone who has knowledge and history and knows, you, you you can't argue with them. If they're being respectful to you and they are still treating you as with respect, but teaching you, there's a difference. There's a difference in being disrespectful and teaching and 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 giving a learning moment to grow. And for the past three years, I've never really had um any like problems with like going back and forth with anybody it was only if they were being disrespectful to me but anybody who was willing to teach and help me and be respectful i learned from them and we've gotten really close to any of you guys know anna apache i know who you're talking about and i know a lot of people are not fans of this particular person okay well I, me and her are really close but we started off rough me and her started off rough. She, 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 she didn't come for me bad, but she thought I was a, a we don't use the word anymore, but wabo at the time. Right. And we had a very deep conversation, and I, she told me that she never denied me being indigenous. She just tried to educate me on it, but she did it in the wrong way. And um, okay. she, she's one that, like, I can vouch for, and she'll tell you too, like you know coffee bean is indigenous coffee bean doesn't bother nobody coffee bean reconnects in his own journey his own way um and kochi Mikwi, i don't know if you guys know about him um just all of them um i say out of drama so anybody who has any issues with these people i apologize for bringing them up i just know that i keep away from them. oh you, you're okay i'm just making faces because because they're hunters and i'm 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 oh, so good with that oh i didn't know they were hunters i did not know that so yeah, that that's why um, for some folks bringing up their names can be a little like off putting. Yeah, like Anna Apache is um, one of the people who doxed me. So, yeah, I had no idea about it. That, so I again, I don't really get into like that the drama part. So I know that they're hunters is, is bad. I didn't know that they were hunters. So I that's new. Um, That's new. So I will have to also figure that out and uh, figure out how to fix that issue in terms of either unfriending them or something, because I don't, that's not okay, I mean, obviously. If, if your personal relationship with them, you know, they haven't brought you harm or anything like that, that that's, I mean, I don't, I don't hold it against anybody, being friends with anybody. It's just, there's, there's certain folks that I've seen cause harm, so I, I keep my distance. And that's why you saw me making a grimace, because, you know, Coaching Miki hasn't done anything personally to me. Um, Anna hasn't done anything personally to me, but I have seen them attack members of my community, particularly those that are Afro-Indigenous. And, you know, um, unfortunately, uh, my introduction to them was the twins and stuff like that. So, um, you know, perhaps there are, there, there's a conversation to be had there. Um, but I don't know, it's, 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 it's kind of hard for me because it's like, okay, y'all may have been right about these particular people but what about everybody else in my community that you attacked like that doesn't that doesn't make up for that but um yeah i'm gonna i, I keep cutting you off let me shut up 
continue saying what you were saying. I'm so sorry. Fine. I just, you know, I'm, I try my, I've been through, if you ask anyone, um, I, um, I've, I've been through a lot on this app. I've earned a lot of respect for my journey and for being respectful and for, you know, doing it the right way. Um, and for having the proof that I have, but I've been through a lot on this app. So I've been attacked a lot. I recently got attacked uh, like maybe two weeks ago um, where it was an Edmonton native, a, man, a, a native from Edmonton, I guess Canada were there. I guess they're very racist there from what I was told by other natives. Um, and then I was dancing, I'm, I'm two spirits. So I was doing, I was, I was doing um, like jingle dress and um, which I've been doing for three years. Everyone knows, everyone's always applauded me. Um, even the elders and people were saying, well, that's a woman's dance. That's a woman's dance, but I'm two spirit. So, you know, I've always connected to that part. And I've even consulted, you know, my ancestors, my native ancestors in general and other natives on it. And I got the approval, but people who don't know me just see it as, oh, he, he's just out here doing this. Cause he, like a woman tried to say a native woman, and I guess her, I can't remember what her name was, something Eagle Feather, something like that said, well, you just watched it on YouTube and that's and started doing that. I said, no, I had to get approval of this. I had to ask for permission. It wasn't like just me doing it. Like people who don't know me just see me and they go off my skin tone, obviously, but people who don't know me would automatically just think that I am just out here just trying to appropriate when it is my culture too, but I am doing it the right way, you know? And, and also, I'm sorry, I did it again. You're fine. Like even even with white sage, I don't come from that tribe, but I have to ask permission. But the only time I ever used white sage was when it was given to me as a as a gift by that by a person from that tribe. So I tell people all the time, I'm like, if you're going to use white sage, you know, I, I tell them I try to educate people who aren't native. If, if they if they like being a spiritual person and like being a a, a, a witch myself. I go, I have to go to the spiritual stores and, and get things sometimes. And people will look at the white sage and I'll always tell them, or they'll ask me sometimes and I'll be like, don't grab that because that's not to be used. If it has not been gifted to you, if it has not, you have not been given permission, you should not be using that. They shouldn't even be selling it in here. But obviously if I make an uproar, it's an issue, right? So um, I don't grab the white sage. I, I have sage in my room, but it's not white. It's, it's, of, it's of something else because I haven't been gifted that again. Not because I'm in trouble. I just haven't been given it again. <laughs> so right. I got something else. Um, but I, there's just so many things to like, um, to, 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 this, to, to being native and being, and being on a journey and like recently, yesterday, I was with one of my friends. She claims she's native. I don't know her her background. They say they're Cherokee, famous, right? Famous one, right? Anyways, I leave that alone, even though I've talked to her about it already. But she said she had a dream one time and she saw somebody moving around, around whatever, and she thought it was a skinwalker. And I looked at her and I said, I didn't say nothing, but I looked at her and I'm like, do you even, do you understand that that was a, like, how, why would that be a skinwalker? Like, do you really know the history of that? You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that's because because us as now, like, I'm, I'm scared of someone that you you whistle at night, I'm gone. I don't do that. <laughs> I, so I, I <laughs> so it's not it's really not something to I, I she wasn't joking about it, but she still said it. But it's it's not something you say, because to me, I kind of found that offensive and I haven't spoken to her about it yet, but I think I will because I don't I don't think you really understand that. Like, like, no, her in terms of her saying you, I was, in, I want her to understand that. Like, I don't think she really understands that, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then it was nighttime when she said it, but she didn't whistle, but she said it. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, watch your mouth, <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, I just think people who aren't knowledgeable, who aren't educated, who don't have a community, who don't have anybody to teach them, or um, they learn from people who aren't that at all who, who appropriate the culture are always going to be lost because they don't have the proper guidance or knowledge on anything so i agree and that's that's the unfortunate part of of all of this because it'd be one thing if like okay because i made my mistakes too i'm not gonna sit here and, and pretend like you know i just 
was perfect as soon as I started <laughs> reconnecting or anything like that. But, um, you know, it, it's one thing to make mistakes when you don't have the proper guidance. It's another thing to have the proper guidance and continue disregarding the teachings that, that you are being given, you know, cause a lot of folks will say like, everything isn't going to give it going to be handed over to you on a silver platter. You have to ask the right questions and stuff like that. But, um, even so the thing, things that are, you, um, if that is, if you're getting that kind of information, you're getting that kind of guidance or whatever, and you're completely disregarding it and practically spitting in the faces of people who are trying to teach you by turning around and presenting yourself as, as, as like just as knowledgeable or whatever, like it's, it's akin to, you know, how a lot of people, a lot of doctors will get mad and be like, oh, you know, they just web MD'd an article and now they think they know the same thing I do. And I went through so many years and had to do all this internship or whatever, to, whatever to get to where I am. I had to put in all of this work to be able to call myself a healer and a doctor and all of that there to have people that are just like, oh, well, I know better than you because I Google some shit real quick. That's essentially what I'm seeing a lot of people do. Um, what I'm seeing these, the three people that we were talking about and have been addressing in this live that is what they have done. Like I've seen them go into lives and be like, oh, you know, Rose in particular will be like, oh, I may not be connected, but I'm knowledgeable. How? Like that in and of itself is contradicting because if you had done all of your due diligence, if you had gone on your path, if you had, you know, gotten the teachings, then you would be knowledgeable, you would be connected. So to say that you're, you're, reconnecting but you have the knowledge of elders that's disingenuous and, and you're kind of slapping people in the face who put in all this work to be able to say that that's who they are well uh, oh. oceans wrath was saying um like, like i said i know i know her i was saying how you know people even even you know aunties like you don't just become an auntie you don't just become an uncle you don't even just become an elder. You have to put in that. You have to get that title of respect. You have to have to to work for it. Um, and you know everything within every culture is worked for. It's not. It's not just given. But with Americans, it's this. It's it's the American way of oh I can just have it because I you know that YT nation again it just goes back put to that flag in that put your flag down and claim it's yours yep yep so it, it it's everything i i just i had to hop on here because i really wanted to hop on here and just speak really quick and show my face and and, and talk and, and converse about it because um i want to sh show you know because i know we all know there's afro indigenous people out there but i want to show my face as an afro indigenous person and talk about my journey and how what is being presented as as problematic is problematic and what has to be done does have to be done because i went through it myself but i did it so i did it respectfully and i'm still doing it respectfully so i didn't have this you know um issue at all um i believe uh, we are still here we are still here even knows me it's good to see everyone in here <laughs> Um, actually converse and have a conversation. I don't get on lives like that because I'm more so introverted that I just really don't. But I was like, let me get on here and let me talk about it, you know, because these are two these are two supposed Afro Indigenous people who are not Afro Indigenous who um, have made other Afro Indigenous people look bad, and they made me look bad. So I have to come on here, obviously, and talk about it because I can't not you know and that's the thing like because they were so self-centered when it came to how they approach things not only did they cause damage to the taino community but like i said they they caused harm to people outside of our community they, you know um indigenous or afro-indigenous as the case is for i think everybody in the panel right now um but like it's it's one of those things where it's like people complain about gatekeeping but this is why this kind of behavior the things that we're seeing being done is why and um 
it's unfortunate that other people who do do things the right way end up having to pay for the folks that that are pulling the kind of stunts that we've been discussing in this life. You know, you shouldn't have to pay for shit you didn't even do. Somebody else did it. Right. Right. And and I'll be honest, I did kind of have my suspicions about them. I, you know, I have my suspicions about a lot of it, it's sad, but I have a lot of suspicions about a lot of Afro Indigenous people because I just know um, how certain people who claim Afro Indigenous are or can be when it comes to that. Because I've seen so many people who say they were Afro Indigenous not be in my three years of doing this. And I think that's because it was such a trend at one point. Whereas when I came out to talk about it, I talked about my story and I didn't just say, oh, I'm Afro Indigenous. I didn't come out to Afro Indigenous probably about almost a year into my reconnecting journey. And the only reason why I did that was because I saw other people do it, say that they were Afro Indigenous who were Afro Indigenous, like Casey LaBelle. He, um, he's Afro Indigenous and he identifies as that, even though he had also identifies with his tribe. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but he is Afro Indigenous and I'm close with him as well. So he was one that was saying that. Oshun's Wrath is also Afro Indigenous. So there's a lot of, of um of people that i had to look up to where i was like oh okay so i'm afro indigenous that's the term i use instead of just saying indigenous but another that was another whole situation i'm pretty sure you know taino library about we as Afro -Indigenous people were just indigenous we got fussed out about that because we were like well you're 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 more than just indigenous so we would have to find a name for who we were which was kind of sad we couldn't just say indigenous but the Euro indigenous could say just indigenous. But anyways, I'm not getting to that part. But, <laughs> but again, I mean, you're spitting facts. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> you know, but you know, that was a whole situation. And then when I would say just Afro indigenous, then people would, the same people or other people who made it a big deal would say, well, why don't you just say indigenous? I'm like, but you literally told, you literally were the same ones or the people who said I could not say indigenous. So why, or just indigenous, so why are you getting mad at me now for saying that I'm Afro-Indigenous? Even though I'm triracial, I still am Afro-Indigenous. So why would I say indigenous if you guys got mad at me for that before? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you, you can't win for losing when it comes to that. I, I learned that eventually and was like, you know what, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck. I feel like is right and whatever, you know what I mean? Obviously within reason, what I feel called to do because no matter what I say, someone's gonna be pissed off at me. You know, the same, same situation as you. If I say I'm indigenous, oh, you're, de you're denying your African ancestry. If I say I'm Afro indigenous, oh, why do you gotta put the Afro in front of it? Right. What do you want? I feel like that, what was his name? Noah? I think his name was Noah in, in the... Um, yeah, his name was what Noah. Was the name, what's the name of the movie? Notebook. Yeah, where he was like, what do you want? God damn it, tell me what you want. You yeah, know? that's, that's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> that's how I feel sometimes. I'm like, you know, and then it just got to the point where I was like, I don't even care anymore. I'm going to identify with my ancestors the way I feel honors them best. And if people don't like it, they can kiss my body booty. Yeah, I, I've been so great, I'm grateful on my journey, you know, and I made a video about a couple months ago about what I've learned and how appreciative I was. And so many people liked that um, because I just, there's so much entitlement. And I love how you use that word. There's so much entitlement um, with it coming into a community, coming into a culture yeah. where, you know, there's so many people who want to have the benefits but don't want to work for them, um, want to have the respect but have to work for that respect. You know, I am um, currently, um, I'm not dating him. We're sort of talking, but I'm kind of mad at him right now, but I'm talking to a Taino man right now. <laughs> Be careful. And Be careful. He's in trouble. <laughs> but, Sounds about but, right. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, you know, me and him have that connection. I'm not Taino, but I am native and I am, you know, have Southern native blood in me, but we have that connection. So, you know, I like that. And he's even had commented on that. And he's told me many times that, you know, I do look Afro Indigenous, I do look native. He's never denied that, which I love. Um, some of our, some, some, some people see our, see us, some people don't, it, it is what it is. But um, 
I like the fact that, you know, he, I, he, he, um, I guess recognizes that part of himself because he is also Spanish and I'm also Spanish, but he knows of his indigenous identity as I know of mine and am, and am still learning of mine. Um, so I just, I, 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 I try my best to, um, continue to learn as much as possible, do it the respectful way. And if I have to speak on something, I will, um, or defend myself, I will. But um, I, I just, it upsets me sometimes when I see these things happen. And when I see, you know, suppose, I keep saying suppose of, um, Afro-Indigenous people making this happen over and over again to where it's like, well, are Afro-Indigenous people really Afro-Indigenous? You know, and it, it's just sad. You know, it's just so sad. I mean, it, it makes it to where, and, and that's why there's that like knee jerk reaction to people that, you know, um, either are themselves like proclaimed hunters or hang around that group of folks. It's because those are the ones, they're, they're the group of people that come at us the hardest because, you know, not for nothing, there's so many people claiming it that as soon as you say you're Afro Indigenous, these folks look at you sideways and, you know, want to go and have other folks dox you. I mean, sorry, I forgot to talk sensitive about that, but like, you know, do things like that or, or search your whole genealogy. And it's like, oh, I can, I can get somebody to search my whole genealogy for me for free. Okay. Because, you know, your girl is having a hard time. You know, my parents have been my dad in particular has been doing so much and, and it, you know, we hit all these roadblocks because of the nature of colonization and stuff like that, that it's like, how, how y'all with less information than what I have going to figure out more than, than what my family has been able to figure out that, that shit don't make no sense to me, to be honest. But, um, you know, it is again, unfortunate that at the end of the day, it's people that are actually Afro indigenous that pay the price when folks are making claims that um, are either completely false or that they cannot validate, they cannot um, in any way, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? My, my, my words are, are, are done. I'm starting to get sleepy because I'm an old lady. I'd be waking up at like, like, and by the time it gets to this time, I'm like, it's bedtime. So I'm, pro I'm probably going to go ahead and end the live, but I know Siguapa is up in the box, um, Quisqueyano, and um, hasn't had an opportunity to um, add their two cents yet. So I didn't know if you wanted to go ahead and take it away. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So Hi. Um, how are you guys? Good? Yeah, we're, we're we're good. This this live um has gone in, incredibly well actually. I was expecting for, you know, some people to come in wanting to start some shit, but that has not happened. So, yay. Mm -hmm. I know you started it at 7, but I I didn't come in on time. I was planning to, but then I was at work, so I was like stuck until like now. How dare you be a responsible adult? <laughs> I was like, no, wait, I want to go to the live at least for even if it's like like 10 minutes left, you know, but um, I wanted to say like personally, like I've, I've seen, I know this, there's a lot of um, like, especially what Taryn was saying, like there's a lot of people who claim Afro-Indigenous, right? But then they don't have any, like they just do it just to add on some, uh, some identity to themselves without having any knowledge of like what their community is. Or like, you know, they're just doing it just because it's like um trendy, you know? But like it it kind of also erases those of us who are actually like part of a community, those of us who actually have that experience of being Afro Indigenous. Like and I also feel like a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people I've been seeing who are more YT presenting, you know, they start um they they have some like minimal African ancestry and all of a sudden they're like, oh, I'm Afro-Indigenous, you know, or like even people who don't have it, like, like you know, who, it's like, sometimes they kind of be racist to the um, experience that we have as people who've been racialized also with in part of the African ancestry itself, you know, when it's more visible on, on, on many of us and we 
faced a lot of discrimination because of that, you know. I feel like it's one of the reasons why it's so, it's something that's in, so self-encompassing when it comes to my identity is my experience racially and my experience um, visibly when it comes to racism, and even in the U.S., even in um, Latin America. So, you know, it's like, um, I've been seeing there's a lot of um, people kind of taking advantage of that identity. So that's why it it's hard for me, like, like this is what I feel as, as a Taino as well, is when I see other Taino people, people who say they are Taino, right? Like, I have my own, like, conclusions about them. Like, I, I, I have my own thoughts. Like, like I can also get a vibe out of some people, you know, and I, and there's been a vibe, like, and I've said this um, many times before, but I just didn't want to act out on it because I didn't want to seem like a person who's, like, invalidating somebody. But when you start seeing red flags in some people, you start, um, understand, you start, like, realizing or even asking questions to yourself, like, is that person really a part of the community? Because I've seen them do some really problematic things or some questionable things, you know? Yeah. Like, even taking stealing other people's dna tests that's a very disgusting and that is the first thing i um i saw like i took note of when i saw like you know uh, certain individuals posting their dna results that are not theirs and even some dna results just not making any types of sense you know so it's like you know there's people who obviously they want to prove something by posting someone something false and they're trying to convince people, and that's how they get into a community they're not a part of. That's why, like, you know, a lot of these people who lie about those things like to get close to actual Indigenous people, so that way they can disguise themselves. And that's something I've seen very, very, like, often, and um, it's very really alarming. Wait, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, no, no, it's okay. Bad, bad habit. I try to catch myself. No, but, um, <laughs> it's all right. I was just saying, um, my train of thought actually crashed and burned, and I don't remember what I was going to freaking say. <laughs> Continue. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's But, you know, that's that's something I've been noticing, you know, like, I, I know that other people um, who have vague, uh, I know even people, other um, creators have been called out with, you know, vague claims to indigeneity, like, you know, they have ever changing, you know, communities, like their, their tribes are constantly changing their nations and the communities. And stuff. <laughs> right. But also like, it's just, it, it tells you a lot of how common this is, you know, with this different, different community. But like, I expected, you know, due to like the, the all this constant awareness we've been getting like increasingly, I've been expecting really? a lot of people to make claims about being part of our community when they're not really, you know. So it's to me, it's like I want to protect my community and I want to protect our, um, you know, I want to protect our representation and I want to protect, um, you know, our representation. But, you know, this is why I always like think to myself, I'm like, I don't want just anyone claiming to be a part of my community when they're not. You know, and I and this is why we have to be very, very, very like, vi like very observing, but also we have to be. Um, I feel like many times we have to be kind of like, um, more like, not gatekeepy, but more like protective of our identities. You know, because it's like it's not fair to us who've been who've always who's who's who always known who we are, and who've always been in our culture to see people automatically start claiming stuff even though they've never been involved in our community before and they have there is a lot of people who lie about it straight up they want to pretend like they're part of our community and that something i don't accept you know i agree 100 percent. i mean like you know because of the fact that you know obviously i'm afro-caribbean you know afro-indigenous to the caribbean um I do have a lot of other admixture going on, but like to sit there and be like, okay, well, 23andMe told me that I'm Jewish, even though no one in my family has ever mentioned any Jewish ancestry. Nobody has, you know, shared stories with me of their struggles as a Jewish person or anything like that. I feel like it would be, you know, disrespectful of me to just be like, oh, well, I just found out I'm Jewish, so I'm going to start claiming 
that I'm Jewish now, you know, 23 and me said I have 3%. So nobody can tell me nothing. Like right. that is, that is so, it's just fucked up, man, because like these identities come with not just like this rich culture. There's a lot of trauma there as well. And a lot of things that we have to like work through and unpack or whatever. Exactly. Um, so it's like, you know, y'all want whatever glitz and glamour you think comes with being indigenous, but you didn't have, you don't have, like you didn't have to pay with being treated a certain way, dealing with racism or whatever the case may be, having to hide part of who you are for, for fear of your literal life um, or any of the other things, you know. One person going, Ocean, stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I agree 100%, you know. And this is why, like, you know, even, you know, we've had to face so much when it comes to our identities being erased. Like, even by, by the people on the island, you know, they think, um, you know, they're, they're like, oh, this, this, is, this is people of the past or whatever. Like, they're, they're not existing today or whatever. It's like, but we're existing today. Like, we are the descendants. You know what I'm saying? We, we practice our culture and we have our stories passed down to us. Like, we have such a strong connection to who we are. Like, it's un irre irrefutable, you know? So it's like, you know, when I see people who come into the picture later on and they're just, you know, they're they're in it for the benefit, they're in it for just the label, they're in it for this, um, you know, this trend that they want to put on and take off whenever they want. It's like, we, we've been struggling for many, 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 many years. We've been struggling for many, ever since colonization started to even be represented, to even, um you know, exist practicing our culture to get to this point, like there was never a point in time where it was acceptable to practice um, Taino culture before this, you know, like people would constantly try to degrade you or even oppress you or even um, re repress you practicing your culture in the past in the Caribbean. And for us to be here today to be able to practice it with no judgment and with no, I mean, we still get judgment, we still get pushback, you know, but and we still get demonized, but it's like we've never had that um, privilege before. So it's like, you know, before our ancestors, they had to practice it in private. They had to mix it in with other things so that way it doesn't seem like something that's going to be demonized called demonic. So it's like, you know, having all of this trauma through colonization and living it over and over and over, it's not fun. And I don't want anyone just out of nowhere claiming to be part of my community without having that knowledge or even, you know, or even faking who they are to be one of us or, or you know, masquerade themselves as. I agree. And I'm going to read out loud Nathonia's um, comment real quick. Uh, they put, I swear people just be claiming to be indigenous or Afro because they want access to spaces. And I, 100%, 1000% agree with that. Um, particularly, you know, I feel like a lot of white tea people are claiming native, like you said, to, you know, be like, oh, I'm marginalized just like you and woe is me and the struggle or whatever, when they never, you know, dealt with racism or colorism or, or any of the isms or the obias. Um, you know what I mean? And, and then you have people that are that are black and or you know um other people of color claiming to be indigenous i i don't even fully understand why you know like all i can think of is Same. you know to that that there's you're just trying to find a sense of belonging you know that you're tired of people saying that you know go back to africa or go back to mexico or go back to whatever and so you claim being indigenous so that you can be like no i belong here and, and you don't have to do that, you know, to belong here as far as the Americas is concerned. Right. And, um, and also, you know, indigeneity is global. If you're not indigenous to America, that's okay. You, you're, you have ancestors that were indigenous to somewhere. Figure out where, figure out who those people are, figure out what languages they spoke, you know, figure out what spirituality they practice and connect to that, you know, like, I just 
from whiteness because whiteness literally was you cutting yourself off from those ancestors, from your indigeneity, wherever in the world that may be. So if you're if you're wanting to, you know, decolonize, regardless of, you know, your admixture, your skin tone or any of that other shit, like figure figure out who your your ancestors are figure out where they're from and then and then go go that route you know i may have a lot of admixture and everything um but i was born and raised in puerto rico so that's where i started and then come to find out you know my my indigenous ancestry is specifically to puerto rico like our people right. were always on the freaking island so you know, I'm like, okay, well, good to know, because there's a lot of people that are that are claiming, you know, for example, Taryn mentioned it earlier when they when they say, Oh, I'm Cherokee, and you're kind of like, but are you really? Because there's so many people who <laughs> lie about eye. it, you know. It's like you know, when when I was what raised my tribes? whole life, huh? Like no, I'm like like when they say it's like what other tribes, like other than Cherokee, like let's stop using Cherokee. Like, what about Lakota, Dakota, Nakota? Uh, what about, you know, being, you know, Dene? What about being, you know, uh, something else? Let's try something else. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, then I feel like here lately it's Taino. I feel like here lately everybody wants to, yeah. like, we're the new, we're the, we're the Cherokee of the Caribbean. <laughs> like, that's, that's what it feels like lately. Um, maybe that's an exaggeration, but, you know, yeah. that's how I feel anyway. But it's it's just like man like you you have a rich culture just figure out which one it is and 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 you know connect to that and also there's a lot of people that i've heard or whatever when it comes to reconnecting because it's not easy you know just like you mentioned a lot of people are like oh it's glitz and glam and all this fun stuff and going to powwows and and dancing and smudging or whatever and it's like this shit like is really hard and it can it can be very traumatizing because not only is there already trauma in your line but as you learn more about your ancestors and and your family history you you start learning about people who left their homes and went to a whole nother you know um what's the word city town or whatever because somebody was bored out of wedlock or somebody you know was too dark for everybody else you know we have a saying on the island y tu abuela, donde esta? for people who are being anti-black because there was a point in history where if you had a dark-skinned relative they did not leave the house because everybody was trying to pass and so you had to hide your dark-skinned grandma otherwise you know the entire town would turn on you because they're like wait nope you're black just kidding you don't we're gonna start treating you like shit yeah, and it's the sides of my family on my grandfather's side where we on my mom's father's side where we're native um my 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 grandfather's mother on her side they were they were they were also native and they lied and told people they weren't native because they weren't proud to be native and i tell that story a lot and that to me is trauma because they didn't even like to take pictures because they didn't want people to see that they were native and i'm like well like why not be proud of that but back in that time it was like for them it was like i can't say that i'm native because there's going to be issues with that like my uncle wayman who's not far from me he's my sister sorry my mother's brother when he was in the um in the military he they they kept trying to figure out what he was they knew just one thing and he he was scared to tell them he was native because if they if he told them he was native he would have gotten could taken out um so that i'm not trying to cry but that puts you know that makes me emotional because that i carry with me you know and how sometimes i'm scared to put on job applications that i'm you know hispanic or or of native heritage because i don't want the problems it's even though I'm proud of my culture, I'm scared of the problems. So I, it is something that we carry with us that a lot of people won't understand, you know? So, yeah. And that's why it feels like a slap in the face whenever, you know, people are, are making their false claims to gain access to spaces to, you know, um, or, or, you know, 
I've seen quite a few people claim indigeneity so that they can get scholarships and stuff like that. And they're taking away from other folks. It's constantly happening, particularly in, in the US and Canada. I don't know so much about other places, but I'm I'm always seeing, you know, it feels like every other day there's this new, you know, university professor or university student or whatever. I want to say in Canada, there were two twins that were literally from India, but they were claiming to be indigenous and got all this scholarship money and stuff like that. And it came out that they weren't indigenous, you know, and then stuff like that hurts people like Lotus Goddess on here, who does have Indian ancestry as well as Taino, but people want to look at her and be like, oh, well, you know, you're Indian, you're not indigenous, you don't get to, you, you can't, you can't claim being indigenous. And it's like, okay. And people from who, people who aren't even from our community want to tell us whether or not we're Taino, like get the fuck out of here. That shit is crazy. Like I even get people from my kids of the Caribbean. They don't know anything about our islands, our history. They don't know anything about their cult, about our culture. Yet they're the, always the first people to try to police our indigeneity, and it's always people from the U.S. I'm like, first of all, um, what do y'all have to do with us? Because we 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 don't like you. You have you know nothing about our history. You don't know nothing about our culture. You don't know nothing about our identity. So why is it that you're putting, trying to insert? your opinion or your you know miseducated opinion onto our communities it doesn't make sense yeah that's how the how i came across who used to go up is um whenever i saw like a northern native um you know speaking on your guys' uh, issues and had no place being there so that's i do my best to try to educate other natives my stay in their lane mind their business like if they don't know about it then you should be speaking on it and it, a lot of like our like northern um tribal politics are different from the southern so i don't get like why i see other natives <laughs> excuse me you, chris. That's, i appreciate that chris yeah, i've always appreciated okay. since day one i'm sorry <laughs> Oh no, you're good. I thought you were done talking. Like I said, you like no, no, you're like, I quickly forget things. So then, as soon as I hear a pause, I think you're done talking. I'm gonna try and get it out before I forget, and then I end up cutting people off. But I try, I try, I try to catch myself. Like once I realize I'm doing it, I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. What were you? What were you trying to say? Oh no, I was saying that I love Chris because Chris really like understands, like you know, kind of like the shit that we go through a lot when it comes to people. Um, specifically some Northern natives, I don't want to say everyone because there's amazing people I've met who really try to have, um, for even kind of like giving space to us for just even, um, you know, advocating for the, our existence and, and, you know, representation within Caribbean indigenous communities. So it's like, I appreciate that a lot, and I and Chris is like one of the first people, like not the, I wouldn't say the first, but definitely one of the people who really like, really stuck it out with us and really supported us and stuff. And I always support, like I always try to give that support back as well. But I really, really appreciate it because, you know, there's a lot of people who, you know, they 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 seek out to erase, you know, and it's not even just some Northern natives, but it's people in the U.S. in general, like non-Indigenous people who love doing it. And, you know, they love to tell us about who we are. Mind you, they're not even Indigenous themselves, you know? So it's like, yeah. But they read it in a book. They read it right. in a book, so they must right. be right. Um, and, and honestly, there's even people in our own community that will, you know, assert certain things. And it's mm -hmm. like, Please be quiet because A, you don't know what you're talking about. Right. B, you're not even part of my Yucayeke in particular. So why you're trying to tell somebody, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. You're using whatever protocols from your community and applying it to communities that, that you're applying it to people who are not part of your community. Because sure, there's, right. you know, just like I'm sure is the case with any indigenous group of people, there's like this like core, this basis, this foundation that we all share, but then there are things that people opt to do a little bit different than the next person or the next community. So it's like, like for example, with language reconstruction, there's definitely different languages, different dialects of Arawak 
being reconstructed right now. And, right. Um, you know, to sit here and say, oh, well, not to say every language reconstruction effort Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just pull that shit out of your ass. You know what I mean? Like pig Latin is more legitimately Taino than that shit. Right. But um <laughs> but that aside, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like, you know, because somebody is choosing to learn a different dialect of an Arawakan language, you know, be just go on the attack. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's just Simply because somebody's Taino, but they're not speaking Hiwatahia. Oh, you're not legitimately Taino. Like that, that's, you know, that's a problem too. Right. And not even doing the research, you know, it's, it's like, and I've seen people from other islands try to um, insert, like, they'll try to say, oh, this is wrong, you know, because they're not from that island. So, like, I'm like, but how do you know if you're not from that island? Like, how do you know if you don't understand? Like, I've even you seen. Get off the game, sir. <laughs> Sorry, my son is, it's okay. I don't know if y'all can hear him. He's like, he's Just not in a box right now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, but I was, I even saw um, one of like, what, like I saw an elder from Dominican Republic, a Taino elder who was talking about like, you know, medicine that we use in the community. We use in DR a lot. And I, I've even seen people from other islands, like from Puerto Rico specifically, try to say, oh, this is fake. This is like not true or whatever. I'm like, but you've never been to Dominican Republic and you don't understand. If you don't understand that medicinal practice, why are you speaking on it? You know, because he was talking about um, Agua Dulce. That's what he was talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, and he no, wasn't understanding. People are dumb. That's a just, you don't know what you're talking right. about. To say that, like right, and it's like, and it's mostly be Caribbeans who don't who don't practice the culture. They don't understand it. They're not in a community, so you know they love to speak for us when they're not even a part of our community. That's some bullshit. I right? it's the white tea. It's the white tea ones. Yeah, a lot of the time they're the most, ones being the most problematic on this app or being the most combative the towards white, other the people. White Cubans. Like something like <laughs> it's like your your conquistador ancestor is just jumping right on because right. you see us identifying as Taino and you're like no, right? No, it's true. It's true. And this is this is why like you know I I I feel like it's something I really fight for is like the representation aspect of it, you know, because a lot of us do get erased in general, and you know there is a there is a um a narrative in order to suppress us. So, you know, it's like I keep pushing it every day. I keep um, pushing out my presence, you know, because I'm proud of who I am and I'm not going to let anybody uh, erase that part of us, you know. So it's like this is why I really, I really like this is why I, I have this mentality, right, where I can't save everybody. We cannot save everybody. We can only um, stick with the people who we who support us, the people who um you know have the same the same similar mentality of protecting the culture and strengthening the community because that's what's more important i don't care to be captain save a hoe and save the entire fucking caribbean and you know what i'm saying and all of the descendants are like oh you, you guys are descendants too you guys are are people too no i don't see everyone as my people i see people who um have a similar aspect like mentality to me People who value the culture, value the community, value the respect that we deserve to give to our ancestors, and you know, value, you know, pushing out that, you know, our um, representation of us is not something of ex extinction, you know. So yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to. I'm about to be like, I don't know. I hate that certain situation, especially this one. Uh, it's hardening my heart because I can feel it happening and I don't want that. You know, I want to like, you know, like Katie was saying earlier, bring everybody home, but it's like, there's people that are just going to take advantage of that. And, and yes, it just, absolutely. it really sucks, you know, because with, with the twins in particular, because, you know, as I said, Rose never showed me her DNA and I never asked. But um, when the twins were asking questions and sending screenshots or whatever, um, you know, there were there, there were some red flags, but, you know, and I asked questions, but it got to a point where I was like, you know what, let me not let me not push 
because at the end of the day, you know, you're, if you're, if you have the lineage, you had a lineage, period, point blank, like your ancestors are your ancestors. Um, that being said, on a side note, um, when people are talking about, I'm going to reconnect by myself because they get upset with somebody, Ooh. like, how are you going to reconnect Ooh. by yourself? That that's an oxymoron, you know, um, it's like who are you then like what are you even connecting to who are you connecting right. to that's the whole point is to connect to exactly. community to connect with family right. with people so exactly. what are you connecting exactly. to and a colonial right. ideology of what you of what has been depicted of what you think your people would have been like a stereotype mm -hmm. is what you're connecting to that exactly because like cheyenne put it like so well um so i'm gonna I'm gonna, you know, repeat what she said, but she basically said like, you know, think of reconnecting like your cell phone, you know, you have, you have the plug and everything, but if you don't, if you don't put it, if you don't put it in, in, in the wall, that shit's not going to charge. It's not going to turn on. You're not, it's not connected to anything. It's just sitting there, right. you know, you have to actually and reconnect it <laughs> the same way, Great you analogy. know? And that's why a lot of people, you know, have been recently talking about like, just because you found out that you have the ancestry does not inherently make you reconnecting. There's more to reconnecting than just, oh, 23 and me told me I'm native. Yeah. You know, like, Can we talk about that? Cause um, I had, so, I was on live with somebody, right? And uh, mind you, I was on live with two other like Dainos too, but there was this other person, right? Um, kind of called, they call themselves um afro right but then they said oh yeah like i just found out i had ancestry to 23 and me and you know i didn't i didn't really start reconnecting with with uh, i don't even know my community i'm just reconnecting with people on tiktok and i was and, and basically like just anybody any native or whatever and i was like Side um, eye. that's not reconnecting boo that's not there's a lot of people doing that they'll be like you know the native community claims me and it's like native community right. on tiktok are they mm. part of the community that you're descended from and that right. you are trying to, you know, reclaim or whatever? Because like, I'm right. sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of a better way to say it because the, 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 the phrase that, that I, that I'm thinking of is, um, has been deemed ableist. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want to use it because I've already had more than one person, like bring it up to my, bring it to my attention. And I'm like, Oh, right. <laughs> I do not know, but, um, right. you know, it's, it's the it, people who lack knowledge leading people who lack knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, why yep. are you getting your education from somebody who does not know what they're talking about? You know, which is, which is, you know, I kind of feel bad for the twins because I feel like they got very misguided very early on. Very early on, um, at least to my in my experience, when I met them, they were already, you know, basically like under Rose's wing, and she was misrepresenting herself as somebody knowledgeable and somebody who's an elder and all of that. So, you know, she cannot be blamed for their stealing DNA tests. I mean, but at the same time, it's like yep. they're they're following your lead, girl. Like they're doing, yeah. they're, they're making all the mistakes that you are making by their own choice because, like, it's not like she's pointing, you know. Uh, a pew pew to their heads or anything like that they're they're making their decisions they're they're yeah. making their mistakes of their own volition but you know part of me does kind of feel bad because they are younger and they are looking up to her as you know this maternal figure and right. you know whatever it is they're learning from her is is wrong is is it is you know wrong I mean? and so they're then they're turning around and and mimicking this behavior Mm -hmm. you know, again, they're adults. That is their own choice. That right. that's their mistake to make. You know, I know one of them said, right. you know, I can hold myself accountable, and it's like, well, then stop lying. If you can actually right. hold exactly. yourself accountable, why do you continue to double down on these lies? You know, and if you do have the ancestry, why are you stealing other people's DNA and representing it as your own? That leads me to believe that you yeah. don't. You know, because why would you do that if you have your own? You know, if you have your own. DNA and your own right. genealogy and history and pictures and all the things Terrence said he had, you know, that right. we all have to be able to, you know, say, hey, I am who I say I am. Right. 
Yeah, it, and it, no, it didn't make sense. I think the the moment that I started um, questioning things a little bit is when they posted their DNA results the first time. And then I, I saw mostly like Spanish and like other European and then, you know, obviously indigenous Puerto Rico. And then I was like, where's the African? Like there's a little, there's only a little bit of African I'm seeing it. I have to put so, you'd be surprised right. how many surprised people, yeah. you know, that, that take their DNA and they're like, damn, I'm 70% European. Look at that shit. That's you true. Know? That's true. I <laughs> agree. It's, but it like, happens. I don't know. It, it, it's to me, because because everything they said was just not adding up, you know, like every all of their claims. So, you know, that's when I first started. I didn't want to say anything at first because I didn't want to seem like this person who's like questioning somebody right off the bat, you know, just because of whatever reason. But I was like, let me give it time and more things will present themselves and then I can make my decision, you know. So, you know, that's why I haven't been very close to a lot of people um, who kind of infiltrate certain communities and they pass themselves off as part of certain communities because it's very hard to trust somebody who, you know, came into the picture recently. And they're like, oh, no, like, I didn't know all my life that I was, uh, you know, Puerto Rican or whatever other ethnicity, like Caribbean or whatever. I didn't know I was Taino or whatever. So, like, um, all of a sudden now I'm reconnecting. I'm like, but you're like, but it's someone who's, like, in their 30s, you know, late 20s or something. So, to me, it's like, it's a little like if you didn't understand that that part of your culture like the caribbean part and that history beforehand to me i'm like looking at you a little weird at the same time but i'm like okay what if they're you know they're adopted or whatever so that's different or whatever but you know there's just a certain reflex you you get to you you hear you know and that it's yeah. really sad what they did because people who are actually adopted and they didn't get to learn any of that they're not going to be taken seriously you know, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like when you're on the Internet, everybody might not see everything and everybody might not know everybody. But someone saw something and and everybody knows someone, you know, that's right. why I tell people about the title community. Like we don't all know each we other. We know every <laughs> body. Right. Right. Exactly. It, it's. <sighs> And it and, and, it's and to that point, the as far That's as true. like you know everybody you know people see things or whatever you know you come on the right. app and you're claiming to be you know from one tribe and then a couple months go by or whatever and then you're claiming this and it's like oh well now I'm ad mixed with this and now I'm I'm that or whatever and you know you may be running with different groups of people but eventually other people um, from the outside looking in are like, wait a second, didn't this person say they were pure pecha the other day? Like, why are they doing yep. this now? You know, and yep. it's like you're, I've seen too many of that. The story doesn't add up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like, and then you can't fault people, even if you are indigenous for questioning you when your story changes on a fucking whim, it seems. Right. You know? Cause like, as long as I've been on this app, I've said the same thing, born and raised in Puerto Rico, born in San Jose. Mm -hmm. I even showed my birth certificate because this white Puerto Rican woman that doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about wants to claim indigenous and act like she knows better than everybody else on this app. Right. Um, but like, I've always said that like, I, I spent the majority, you know, I was born in Santurce, I spent the majority of, of my life in Aguadilla. My DNA test even shows like when, when you get to the breakdown, like in most the region. communities, it uh, says Puerto Rico, Aguadilla, Isabela, San Sebastian. Exactly where the fuck I said I'm from, you know? Right. So like, again, to reiterate, when you know who you are and, and you're able to prove it, you don't have to, you know, take someone else's so name and represent it as your own. Take someone right. else's DNA and represent exactly. it as your own. Mm -hmm. That's one of the no, major reasons why. Oh, my bad. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just, no, I just wanted to agree. <laughs> No, I was going to say, that's why it's like mutuals, y'all know, because I always have like mutuals only posts of like my little results and like my communities and stuff like that. That's <laughs> like people will change their story it's like oh on tuesday we, we wear pink okay on tuesday we're put up a chop and like okay on wednesday we're da 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 like girl how did that happen and so it's just like and i find that so often especially in the southeast it's just like because and and i don't mean to derail too much but kind of looping back to afro indigeneity it's just like a lot of times 
people don't know the history associated with Seminole people and various and you know ethnic groups in the Carolinas and Florida, yet people often try to use those as argument points or to try to discredit who is or is not legitimate. And it's just like when I hear, especially when people talk about or dismiss Afro indigenous people, I think about it, it's just like, well, my family went through the skin scratch test. Like my family, you know, had their face and their noses measured and then their, their category on the census record changed, right? It's just like, you know, community disownment, like so many like layers of things. And so it's just like, even just thinking about how, you know, how oftentimes when people take on these identities, it's just like, but do you understand the weight of that? Is it just like, is that something that you were raised in and a history that you understood or you just came to it? And it, and, it, and that's the thing. It's just like a lot of people, it's like, I understand there's privilege in knowing where you come from, you know, and I will say there's also privilege in being able to have assimilated and to acculturate into another culture so that you don't get as much oppression. And so it's just like when I see people constantly changing this and that and this and that and all over the place, it's just like, well, where did where's your family what what is consistent like if you're not like an adoptee or something like that it's just like how because i see people just throw they just throwing out tribes they just throwing out nations and i'm just like what are you talking about yes yeah, just that whatever comes to it's like someone times. just it's just like what happens is like people get called out for like say claiming a particular tribe or something and people be like uh i don't think so and they'll be like oh i'm actually da 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 it's just i don't know sorry i know that was a word it'd be frustrating <laughs> it is i mean to your point like you know there there are things that are like tells you know what i mean like for example with the one chick not recognizing that i have seminal land on my bio because i'm acknowledging that i live on seminal land i'm not claiming seminal. like girl you know, and then to talk I even about have Lenape on my on my profile, like Lenape land. So you know, that's something natives do. They acknowledge land acknowledgement. You know, if she exactly. wasn't native, she would understand that, that people do <laughs> that, that. That's what I'm saying. It's like okay, you know, Mayo Monkey, I guess. Like you know, and then she's over here pulling up proof <laughs> from like some student, not even an not even an actual like, you know, um, I think it was actually. A PhD candidate. So let me let me rewind. But like, you know, just just sitting here looking shit up to, you know, validate what she's trying to say. And it's like, girl, you could have made that whole argument without bringing my name into the situation. Like, no, if that's girl. what you wanted to do, if you wanted to teach people about, you know, how Taino were in Florida, you know, and all that other stuff, go off. But to try and say that I'm claiming to be Seminole or that I'm erasing Taino people by saying that I'm on Seminole land because Taino people had come to Florida and, you know, all this other stuff or pre-Seminole or whatever the fuck she was saying. It's like, just say you were trying to write off my fucking coattails, you know, because <laughs> you could have you done all that without without bringing me into the conversation. People do it for clout. Some people try to build their whole platform off of the clout tales of somebody else. They be, I'm, I'm saying, I feel like sometimes I wonder people are intentionally problematic, you know, just taking yeah. advantage of the lack. I'll say the lack of critical thinking that sometimes people lack. And I feel like they use that to their advantage. Just be problematic. Just be stirring stuff up with folk just so they can get more attention. I swear. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. the algorithm doesn't differentiate between, you know, um, what's that saying? There's no such thing as bad publicity because the algorithm can't tell what's popular because people are pissed off right. and what's popular because it's good, solid information. And um, I'm going to be quiet now because Selena was trying to talk. So go ahead, sis. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. I was, I was just agreeing with you guys, like everything everyone's saying. I was just agreeing. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't know if like you were like, dang, every time I try to say something, somebody else <laughs> starts talking. <laughs> no, no, just like everything you're, you know, you all were saying, just like, uh, I know you and I, Thino Library, we were talking about how TikTok, the algorithm just likes to push messiness, drama, and a lot of people, they get their clout from making this drama and stuff when this individual could have just asked you why you had that in your bio instead of making a whole ass video accusing you of this and that which she made herself look stupid, but just agreeing with that, with the whole TikTok clout thing, everything like that. 
And the thing is, is like she, she, she thinks that she did, like she thinks she ate me up, you know, but like to your point though, you know, I have videos, educational videos that I recently posted and it's got like 50 likes, maybe a couple hundred views, some drama, hundreds of likes, plenty of comments. And I'm like, dang, you know, but I stay perpetually, you know, shadow banana. Like people will be like, how do you have so many followers and so few views? And I'm like, because because TikTok doesn't like me, you know, I guess like every video I post goes under review and shit like that. You know, it's, it is what it is. You know, um, I've actually had a new one. All of a sudden their views are, they're getting hella views and hella likes and stuff like that, you know, because they're no longer using an account that TikTok has shadow banana. It's, it's yeah. messed up. And I, and I feel like a lot of black and indigenous creators experience that. Like we just kind of, without actually ban you know, bananaing you and saying it, they're like, we don't, we don't want people to see you. We want you to go stay in your little hidey hole over there. We don't, we don't, we're not actually trying to support your community or anything like that, you know, or I'll go to like appeal a, a, a CGV that I get and they're like, you know, we're committed to, you know, protecting our community from blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, you're not because you allow bullying and bullying and harassment. But the second somebody responds to it, they're the ones who get hit with the CGV, especially if they're black or indigenous and or indigenous, because some of us are both, but you know, it's like, dang. Yeah, that's funny to me because like anytime I sing or anytime I do speak Japanese or anytime I make a video on, you know, tarot, it does not get as big of a notice unless I'm being cornered like a high school girl or whatever on this app where I have to sit here and have drama and I'm like, oh, y'all like that, don't you? But any other time, it doesn't get as much. I have to like com continually tell people, okay, go to this video, boost it, like it, you know, because it's me singing or it's me speaking Japanese or it's me doing tarot instead of me arguing with, you know, racist natives or uh, people who aren't knowledgeable about something and getting all this, you know, attention because it's what people like to see. And I'm like, I want, I don't want to be known as a, cause I'm a big, I am becoming a big creator. I am sort of a public figure. So, you know, um, I, I don't want to be known as that. That's what I know. That, you know. That's why a lot of my content is like, I'm addressing an issue, not the person who like inspired me to want to address the issue. Um, and I did, I did a couple, I got a couple of them now, but like, you know, I, I tried my best to stay away from the whole call out culture situation. And when I did initiate my the first time, it was because this person like was causing all kinds of problems, but you couldn't, you couldn't message them, you couldn't tag them or anything. So I'm like, you know, there's no way for me to address you privately. So I kind of have to make videos talking my shit to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and, and then it just kind of other situations happen some of some some of which the twins um and rose kind of you know pulled me into or whatever um some of which had to do with defending other people um whether i was asked to or not and it's just like i don't know i feel like if you're on this app long enough you are going to end up having to address some drama at yeah. some point mm -hmm. you know, it's almost inescapable if I could say this too, um, oh my bad, you you, okay, my bad. I see you doing my hair, so my eyes ain't half on the screen. I got a little delay, but um, <laughs> no, but it's like that's one of the things that I appreciate you about you and you know my mutual is like I because I personally don't do drama. I don't I don't like it in my life, and so it's like I know it's just like when you're responding to stuff, it's like you don't go out of your way seeking drama. Like the girls get messy sometimes. You know what I'm saying, and so it's just like I appreciate. You know, I feel that really speaks to your wisdom, you know, in terms of how you navigate that and really speaks to like your intention of wanting to uh, genuinely wanting to educate people. Like you're not calling out to just drag folk. It's just like you're calling out to intention of love and education and with a hope that an understanding can be reached, which that unfortunately isn't the case with a lot of people. And so it's just like, 
you know, but it's just like stuff always gonna find you. That's why, like I said, it's like when you were saying that you preemptively block, it's like, trust me, I understand. I block even if like if I feel like it's gonna be an issue of it in my spirit, I feel like it's about to be something. It's, it's gonna be a block because a lot of people don't believe me when I say it's just like if someone gonna act goofy, I promise I will turn into a clown. And I'm not trying to do that on here. So it's just like, let me just let me just block. Let me just block. I mean, it's it it's it it be like that sometimes. Because I know there are people and they'll leave a comment and I'm like, you know, I think we all just like without somebody being blatant with it, we're like, you being anti-black right now because this feel this feels, you know, something about right. This it's like it's something, something, something like, is, is, is not sitting right with me. Something, you know, it's like, something ain't sitting right on my scalp. It's just not working. <laughs> exactly. Like I know literally the other day, somebody had made a comment on my Instagram video talking about, um, what was it they said? They were like, oh, you know, they basically called me ratchet. And I'm like, okay. You know, it's like, oh, you, you're doing whatever. That's ratchet fucking gross. And I'm like, okay, well, this reads kind of anti-black, which is fucking gross. And then they went on to talk about how the blacks grape like all these white people and and the statistics aren't the same the other way around and i'm like are you fucking get blocked i i i shouldn't mm -hmm. you know i like i felt it i felt it oh. and like what the fuck so i was like and there it is block literally literally yep it's like high school girls all over again getting cornered in the bathroom i don't got time for that i'm 27 like no so Mm -mm. And not just that, but they'll, they'll corner you like in the bathroom or whatever, and then try to act like the victim when you start swinging, like yeah. you should have left me alone. You should have kept right. my, name, my people's name, my Yuka's name out your fucking mouth. Yeah. Literally. I mean, it's all I'm saying. Like, I just wish people would just leave. Like, like I said, Southeastern is, I, I wish people just leave Southern, Southeastern BIPOC business out. Like if you not, if you like the girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. And I find myself it's just like people who diasporically understand it, like Tainos, like people who are part of the indigenous, Afro indigenous, you know, Caribbean community tend to understand it more because we do have some similarities in terms of like, you know, interaction of black and indigenous people and the Spaniards. So it's just like a lot of times, it's like if I'm having an issue with someone, there's never a similar person. It's never, you know, um, an Uchi person. It's never, you know, a Yamasi. It's never, you know, it, it's never nobody like that it's always somebody who's from all the way somewhere else you know and it's just like and a lot of people feel like just because they have an ancestry generally that's a part of the broader two or three continental diaspora depending on how you look at it that that gives them license to police you know afro indigeneity in particular within our communities and you know what i'm saying so it's just it's very it's very um what, what's the word ick it's just ick i don't know <laughs> It's big, it's cringe, it's all the things like, and you're right. Like I really, I really do feel like that is, that is the case. Cause I know even when I moved to Georgia, I was like, some, something, something about this place feels like home. Something about this place, like I recognize it, you know? And um, yeah, I feel like we just, real recognize is real, right? Like we just, I don't know. And it's not even like one Thing in particular, you know, it's, it's not just it's not just your mannerisms. It's not just where you were born. Like there, it's like all of the things mm -hmm. together. Yeah. You know? And so when people don't have, you know, a certain cadence when they talk or whatever, but they're wanting to claim the community, you're just like, is that right? Exactly. Sure. You know what I mean? And and like, I don't want to like invalidate people because I know what that feels like. But at the same time, it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know, there's got to be a happy medium between, you know, um, showing people grace and, and allowing them the opportunity to like make mistakes and learn and, mm -hmm. and just protecting like gatekeeping our, our people, our communities and stuff like that. Because, you know, a post that was that, that, that Rose attempted to use against me, which, you know, <laughs> Um, had a lot more to do with the broader issues, you know, because we had this dude claiming to be a cacique who turned out to be like, he like um, trigger warning, 
um, but he had like graped a, a, a like a 12 year old girl. Um, you know, this person had been presenting themselves as a cacique, not just, hey, I'm Taino, hey, I'm a Taino chief, you know? And it's like, this this is a problem. Like he was literally on the news. And um, I don't know, I feel, like, I feel like that's an overall indigenous issue though, not just people infiltrating the community, but there being abusers that, that are protected because they have a title or because, you know, they donated so much money to whatever. And I don't, I don't know the answer, but mm -hmm. I, I feel like people need to stop demonizing gatekeeping because it's done for a fucking reason. Exactly. And I feel like there's a difference between, first of all, I view gatekeeping is, gatekeeping originally was used as a term for, you know, someone who's in a position of power, you know, keeping and withholding access and information and knowledge um, from a group that, you know, is marginalized and doesn't have the opportunity. But the way I see it, global indigenous, globally indigenous peoples, you know, are the minoritized group. And so I don't see it as gatekeeping as much as I see it as protecting. And I think that unfortunately though, a lot of people take advantage of the, the grace be, and that a lot of people within communities like extend. And so it's just like, even thinking about from like a Gullah standpoint, like I see so many people all the time. It's like, they'll be like, they find out that they have some Gullah ancestry and all of a sudden they're like, oh, they'll have Gullah in their bio. And all of a sudden they claim that they're doing witchcraft and voodoo. I'm like, girl, we don't even really do voodoo. If anything we did hoodoo and even hoodoo don't look like that. And they'll be like, just saying things that are completely just off base, you know? And it's just like, and I think that that's a, a theme where people honestly just take advantage unfortunately of that grace and that wanting you know people to learn you know like or give you affording that grace and people take advantage of it so it's just like i don't know what the solution is but like i said i'm gonna keep blocking until somebody <laughs> until somebody tells me the answer so, we're just somebody somebody figures something out but it's like it's it's exhausting and it, it's frustrating yeah it's just like not here Go somewhere else with that shit, you know. And um, one of one of the members of um, leadership in Mayuka Yeke, um started using the word safeguarding, and I kind of like picked that up and started using that too because people in immediately like knee jerk like eh, when you say gatekeep or or whatever. But it's it's really safeguarding is what you're doing, and you know, like you said, you're protecting your your people, you're protecting your culture because so much was done not even exist today so the fact that it does it's like we we trying to hold on to the little bit we got and and you know add to it based off of you know interactions with family members you know Arawak and family members in the Taino case but like and then there's people that just come in and are like okay well give me all the things tell me all the stuff oh there's a place that I can go to for free no I want you to spoon feed it to me and it's like, okay, those are people that I don't, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of, I, I guess you can be call, call me a mean girl. I don't give a fuck. But like, it's like, if you can't even put in any mean. effort. You got a whole library. You got a whole library. They could read it. <laughs> I mean, and the thing is, is like, I kind of do spoon feed a lot to folks. So to sit like one one lady was like she had responded to like just a cute little video I made it was I had found out that there's like a canary that has like bangs basically and I was like haha Taino people when they just went you know people in the Caribbean when they discover they have Taino ancestry because you know they'll go ahead and cut their bangs you know as I sit here with my bangs um, <laughs> and I was just you know poking fun at us and this person was like this is giving gatekeeper vibes. And I'm like, oh, I don't have a whole fucking library. My entire page isn't dedicated to giving people information for fucking free. Okay, I'm a gatekeeper then. Exactly. And that's the thing too. A lot of people, they don't delve it deeper than the surface people who find out that they have a particular her a heritage or, or a lineage. You know, it's just like they go gravitate straight towards the aesthetic because that's the surface level and that's the most that they can connect to at that moment. But then there comes a point, it's like, I get it. It's just like the feeling of displacement and and then wanting to be a part of. And when you see something so beautiful, you know, you want to don it. But like at the same time, 
comes a point in connecting where you need to go deeper than that, where you need to start trying to connect with elders, connect with community. And a lot of people simply don't want to do that. And I think in part it's because they know that they don't actually want to be an indigenous person. They want rights to certain resources. They want rights to certain aesthetics, but they do not in their heart of hearts actually want to be indigenous because they realize the realities of MMIW. They realize how racist things could potentially actually get, but because they're far enough away removed, they've been able to benefit from certain levels of assimilation. And so it's just like, so people just want to take the jewels and go so to speak, you know? And so it's just like, and so when you brought up that point of, it's just like, you know, I agree, like not everyone who's learning more about their ancestry is reconnecting. They might be decolonizing, but not reconnecting. There's there's more layers mm -hmm. to it than that, you know? Knowing, okay, I have a grandparent who was of this heritage does not mean that I'm reconnecting. It just means that's knowledge that I have, but it's what you do with the knowledge and how you impact those around you with it. Exactly. You know, because I know I, you know, I brought it up earlier, but when I took a DNA test, you know, just to make sure my family went in line, because there's there's families that that, you know, believe a lie that's just been passed down generationally. But, um, you know, I found out I have like 3% Jewish ancestry. And what do I look like claiming it if I haven't, you know, gone to people who are Jewish, if I haven't, you know, um, sat at the feet of elders and and you know what i mean if i don't even know the name of the spiritual leader in a given community and stuff like that i look like a whole asshole i look like a whole cultural appropriator it doesn't matter if i have any kind of ancestry and i feel like people are like oh well you know i should be able to do and say whatever the hell I want because i have the ancestry and it's like even people who have the ancestry can't do or say whatever they want. You know, you, you still have to show respect. You still have to like come correctly. And people don't want to do that. You know, they'll be like, oh, well, you know, I tried to reconnect and, and I didn't learn anything. Nobody was, nobody taught, taught me anything. And it's like, well, what did, what questions did you ask them? Uh, okay, then that's why you weren't learning anything because you weren't actively pursuing the knowledge. You expected it to just be, to just fall in your lap. That's not how it works. Yeah, and I have to go really, really soon, but I just wanted to say a couple of things that I just add on before I leave. But, you know, one thing I remember my mom telling me one time, which really hits on a lot of points, and I made a video about this as well, is she told me when I, when I had, when we first went to Japan, right? We went to visit and she said, you know, Taryn, I know you love it here, but coming to visit someplace is different from living, sorry, coming to visit someplace is different from living there because you have expectations and things expected of you. That's the same thing when you're coming into a community, whether you, ha when, if you, you know, it, having the blood, like you can't just come in and be like, oh, I'm visiting, I, I have this blood, I, I'm this, I'm that, no. You can enjoy the good moments, but you're good. there's things expected of you there's things expected for you to do. There are things expected for you to learn. There are things expected of you to understand. And that's what people, especially going back to Americans or YT Nation, don't understand. And you gotta understand like there are things expected of you. The, the, the community is gonna expect things of you. They're going to expect you to have to understand certain things, feel certain things, learn on your own for certain things. like. I respect, I think I, especially in communities, it's respected more if you try to learn it yourself and then ask questions. Exactly. You know, try to learn it first and then and just say, oh, teach me, teach me. Oh, you know it, teach. No, that's not how it goes. So, exactly. um, like I said, all it's hit a uh, nail hit on the head and, you know, it, 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 it bugs me a lot when people, you know, I tell them, you know, especially if my indigenous heritage, I'll tell them that. And they'll say again, something like, oh, I'm, I'm Cherokee or I'm this or I'm, I'm like, are you really? Because are you just saying that because your mom or your dad said that? Did you really look into it? Did you really like try to find out, you know? And some people don't want to do that because they're scared that they're not going to be it, which a lot aren't. And, and I mean, that, it's sad if you if you have like, if you've kind of gotten a connection to it, you know, and, and been told all this and you've believed it. Like, I remember I saw a video, mind you, this woman 
you know, pale as all get out, bright red hair, talking about, you know, she's Cherokee, she's Cherokee, and she can't believe why people always assume she's Irish and stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. The woman was Irish. She took a DNA test and she was, you know, she was crying. She was very upset because, you know, she had been told her whole life, you are, you are indigenous and come to find out she's not. And that's, and that is pretty freaking common, but I cut you off again. So I'm sorry. No, fine. Um, I, I just, you know, I think that is so important to understand that when you come into a space, any space, it is of you to understand that it's not just, oh, the powwows, oh, the, um, the, the, the jewelry, oh, the stories, oh, the, you know, the, 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 the hairstyles, um, no, or, or even just the blood, like you, you got to come in here and there are things expected of you. You got to really be there, show up, understand, learn, grow, be a part of the community. Um, and I, like I said, in my three years so far, like I'm part, I'm part of the community. Like I don't, I don't even, you know, I know I'm reconnecting, but I am part of the community because I have put in the work and um, I've had to face so much on my own or with others, you know, for people who have tried to dis, you know, uh, have tried to take away from me my, my, my heritage and where I come from and people who don't, did not know me, didn't watch my videos, didn't ask other people in the community about me, nothing, get literally look stupid because they're like, oh, I misjudged him. I didn't even look at his stuff. I didn't even look at his stuff. And, and I love how in this live, there are so many people who do know me, who do know me, who could vouch for me because they are the people who are there and who have watched me and who have went through my, my journey of my own discovery and my journey of, you know, bring, even bringing my mother on to TikTok. I was so scared when I did a video of my mother or when I put her results up, because I'm like, there are so many people out here who will come for her, which some did, but it didn't really do nothing to me because I had an indigenous community behind me. But even when I put her up sitting in her chair in the nursing home, telling the story of our family, um, it, it was like, even some people still got on there and were trying to be negative. But again, it all goes to anti, a lot of it goes to anti-Blackness. But some of it also goes mm -hmm. to the fact that we have so much misrepresentation of Afro-Indigenous people in, in terms of this case, where um, it's like, well, is he really Afro-Indigenous? Even with my mother sitting there, shoot, <laughs> you can go on my page, you'll see her. You know, um, even that's not enough. Even her ancestors and my great, my grandfather, my great grandfather, on and on and on and on and on, on. It's still not enough for them. So it's like the DNA test results aren't enough for them. So um, stories aren't enough for them. So again, the anti-blackness is rampant. But again, it's not just that as well. The the misrepresentation of Afro-Indigenous people makes it so much worse. And until we really get a handle on that, um, it's it's going to be so much worse for for Afro-Indigenous community. And I don't laugh because I I don't laugh because I think it's funny. I laugh because it's it's literally it's literally going to get worse if we don't fix it. Yeah, it's 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 definitely definitely an issue and and exhausting to have to continually have to like repeat yourself and say the same thing over and over again. So um, that's why like a lot of the time I just I just delete people's comments and keep it pushing. I don't even address the shit because you're you're just wasting your time. Some of these people are committed to whatever narrative they have of you in their head. Um, they're committed to misunderstanding you. Um, and, and, and it's just, it's not even, it's not even worth it. Like, I mean, if you, if you have the spoons for it that day and you, you know, feeling like addressing it, then that's one thing, but like, I don't know. I do really, I want to go ahead and say that I love your mom's, um, analogy as far as like visiting, you know, having like this cultural tourism kind of thing going on because like to kind of elaborate on it like when you live somewhere you you know for example like in puerto rico like if you 
if you live in certain places, you know when the tide is gonna be too high to be able to go in certain caves. Like you you in that cave at that time, you're probably gonna drown. It's not a good idea. You know, if you're not from that from there and have lived there, even if you have ancestry, you wouldn't know that and you you know what I mean drowning because you don't know about these tides and stuff like that you don't know what neighborhoods are safe to go to at night in which neighborhoods you should stay the hell out of if you don't live in that neighborhood you know so um i really love that analogy i'm gonna have to borrow that from your mama if that's okay that's fine <laughs> that is fine and you know um I was so happy that I was able to come on here and speak and learn, you know, talk to all of you um, because I feel so much more connected to all of you doing this. And I should do this more often, but I'm just so introverted. So I get scared to come on camera. But um, me too. It's, it's so nice talking with the community and becoming more connected with the community and talking amongst each other. And I also sat with myself and I said, you know, should I really be speaking on it? Cause I don't want to go, even though they were wrong in the situation, it's hard. It's like, am I going against them? Am I being a bad, a bad person to them, even though they lied? Like, am I being shady by coming on here and talk, speaking my piece, but I'm not being shady. I'm, I'm sticking up for my community and that's what matters. So that's, that's essentially the, the same. I think a lot of us were in that same boat because like I, I when I tell y'all I sat on this for days, you know, and even prior to that, I was, you know, sitting here like, man, this is so fucked up, man, this, I'm so upset. You know, I was too upset to even address it at first. But then once I had gotten, you know, past my own personal feelings, I was like, OK, well. Should I should I even say anything? you know, for the sake of the community to, to warn people like, Hey, you know, hide your DNA results, hide, hide your wife, hide your kids, because like this, this is not okay. And, you know, I essentially came to the conclusion, like you're, you are not a worker and so their way. they made their bed and they need to lay in it, you know, and you're not talking shit if, if, if what you're saying is true. Okay. So, you know, there were, there were things like that, that I was like going back and forth about. And, and, you know, I talked to, you know, kind of bounced how I was feeling and, and what I should do, um, on people who were, who are Taino and people who are indigenous, but, um, you know, aren't necessarily part of our community. Um, and the general consensus was, this is not okay. People need to know, um so so i open my mouth <laughs> I understand. but um so i definitely understand that like should i should i not right am i a bad um, person if i do you know yeah i wanted to speak on that too because like regardless of like all the back and forths like I had with the twins like I still cared for them immensely and you know even still do till now like I still have like a little bit of like I still feel bad but what initially made my mind up was you know when I found out that Danny was um using a close relative of mine not close like as in like but just somebody that I'm close with that helps me with my ancestry um, we found out that, you know, she was passing that person's um, ancestry as her grandfather's. And the pain in that person's voice, because that person had helped, was trying to help, you know, Danny. That, that to me was when I had made up my mind on really wanting to expose them, but just not knowing the right way to go about it without um, oh. making it dangerous for them. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, there are there's black women in the community who were getting attacked initially because they were black. And, um, you know, it, it was a really hard thing for me to even want to address because of that, because now it's going to make it harder for my Afro-Indigenous brothers and sisters that want to reconnect and come out because they're going to be like, well, dang, like, you know, are people going to believe me? Or they, they also see, you know, what the twins went through. And I also know that, that that also came with a lot of other stuff that they were also doing. But um, 
you know, at the end of the day, like, we had to protect our community. And that's what it boiled down to is protecting our community. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, yeah, you, you said it. <laughs> that, that's what it, huh? Oh, hey. I'm really bad at paying attention to the comments, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, it's it's not a good feeling to know you've been lied to. It's not a good feeling to know that like if you say something, you're gonna be villainized. If if you know people turn around because even even when I do like do a video or whatever, most people, at least at least the people who have watched a decent amount of my content know that I don't condone like somebody taking my content and then turning around and weaponizing it against somebody and being, you know, hateful towards them and stuff like that. You know, we all make mistakes and I would hope that people would be willing to listen to me and forgive me if I make a mistake, um, when I make a mistake. Um, my, my thing is just the, the simple fact, like you had guidance, you had people supporting you and you lied to those people, you know, and now you're out clutching your pearls, acting like you're the one who's been betrayed. You're the victim in this situation. And, and that's, that's not the case at all. Um, I just, me personally, I'm, I, there's, there's a lot of shit you know, that um, I know people have done and I've still, you know, seen their humanity and stayed friends with them. And, you know, what's that, uh, that saying, you know, uh, I treat the janitor the same as the CEO type shit. Um, I just don't like being lied to. There was no reason to lie to me. None at all. So I just, I don't know. That hurt a lot. But I don't know if anybody has any last words or if anybody wants to come up, but it's getting late and I'm an old lady. I was about to say goodnight, my own self. Thank you so much for providing the space. Um, I was tuning in, in and out, um, trying to mind my business, but also, like I said, it's just like our communities are very we move in very similar ways. So it's just like, okay, let, let me figure out what's going on. So, but um, I can hear that there's been a lot of hurt and I hope now that there's a lot of healing. So much love to everyone, um, blessings to y'all and have a very good night. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Good night. Good night. Thank you for coming up. Good night. Five in the morning. Good night. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and like piggyback off of Nathonia and be like, all right, I love you guys, but um, I'm I'm old and I want to go to bed. <laughs> good night, Ito. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Y'all have a good night, even though I said that already.